All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, actually, probably good evening for you. Uh, Europe, I think it's kind of late in the evening. America, it's the afternoon. For me, it's six twenty in the a.m. Um, so yeah, but I'm I'm good. I've got a coffee. The best. You know, it's actually like the best coffee I've had in the world, and it's five minutes down the road from where I moved to. Pure coincidence. Didn't know when I moved in here this was going to be a thing. Feels so fortunate because coffee is life. <laughs> um, hello, Vitamin D. Hello, Sean Bernstead, who is from Canada. Which part of Canada are you from? Love Canada. Um, well, we've got two Canadians here. Sully as well is Canadian. Where, where are you guys from? Love that. Um, so, and if you're watching on YouTube in the future, let me know in the comments. I would love to know actually um, how this is as like a stream. You know, when you watch it in the future, um what it's like to watch as a video rather than like a stream um hello in hamburg to ljp hello to our first channel member that's in chat this morning draconicus thank you to all my channel members very very much good morning to you and uh too uh gaming with christy a gold channel member with is that two next to your name as well i think it is i maybe i should do something different for the two-year badge what do you think christy it's you're the one with the badge but hello to you okay loads of people here way more than i expected already um i know this is meant to be a good time for me to stream so i perhaps need to do it more often so yeah medieval dynasty i'm gonna jump right in because i need to have a little look around it's been a little while since i've been on here which a few of you have pointed out to me um in comments and things so yep understand that um i got a lot of support for the series and it's very very appreciated so i wanted to revisit it today um with a view to making another video in the future but the way i've kind of done the videos has been like i've been making one building per video kind of thing so like there'll be a video that focuses on like the farm or the apiary or whatever right so um yeah i think that what we need to do is get to the stage of the game where we can make that next building and uh that's what we're gonna have a look at today and i think it's gonna be the market stall that's why the thumbnail and title of this stream or thumbnail at least but there we go had no idea what the dot was <laughs> yeah it's just a bit it's just a dot to you i can kind of see it as a two but i think that's because i know that it is more than it looks like a two um hello in the uk hello in new york i love new york city i've not been to new york state too much like around the other places hello from california as well to cecilia another channel member there um california where have i been in california i think just la vegas is cali right is it? No, Vegas is Nevada. It's kind of near that whole thing. Um, so I'll show you guys here under the technology thing. Uh, let's see, I think it was production. Down here, we can get to market store and we're on like 1600. We need to get to 2500. So basically, you know, as it says over here, we need to craft and cook items in order to get there. So we could, you know, I don't know. We need to figure out what we can craft and cook. Other than that, everything else we're kind of far off, like farming, we've got loads of points. But the next thing is just like another food storage, another barn, and then the windmills at 10k, so that's really far off. As for survival, again, there's nothing new in here at all. And for the building, there is some new stuff down the bottom here, um, which is the... Um, oh, wait, no, it's not. What was I thinking of? Where's the tavern? Is that also production then? Are the taverns also down here? Okay. We need to work on production, I think. Um... Yeah, no, this is me continuing on with the series that we already had. Um, so, yeah, this is the same same series. Uh, all right, let's see. How much money do we actually have right now? 16,000. Okay, that's kind of good. And then in terms of our tax, uh, 8,000 for tax right now. And we are in. Let's have a look here. Hmm. We're in spring. So did I already pay my taxes or do I have to go pay them? No, i got to go pay them. All right, maybe we'll do that. As a little starter off here, let's um, I press the wrong, wrong whistle button. You can tell it's been a while. Let's go and do that. And then we can hang out at the start of this stream um, while we're doing all this. Okay, this is really loud for me. So I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. I really need to find some headphones that have volume control things in here. Because this bit here, this doesn't work, which is really annoying. So um, I can change like the volume of what you're hearing versus me. But, you know, that's my problem, not yours. <laughs> um yeah so if anyone has a good idea christy or um anyone you see game with christy next to her name she's got the the kaizen badge and that is meant to be a little too because after two years and then three years and four years and stuff like that you can get different badges the way youtube allows you to do it and i th figured well if someone's supported for two years why not let them have like a nice badge right there um to do that but we might need to change that up. So if anyone comes up with a good idea, oh, uh, then let me know. We've got a um, 
something, a little wagon fell over here, so we can loot this, I guess, if we want. Let's see, what is it? a small bundle with some salted fish? I mean, yeah, we'll take it. Um, man, it's been way too long since I played this game. You can tell I'm not even used to the keys at this stage. Uh, we'll take these meatballs as well. I think some of them actually sell for a fair bit. Um, yeah, I think you'd like this game, Christy, yeah. Um, although, uh, in terms of content, I know that you're doing incredibly well with uh, Nightingale. If you have any Nightingale fans in chat right now, go check out Christy's channel. Um, or Valheim fan, or just fans of, you know, lovely people like Christy who do gaming content, right? But yeah, she's she's doing really well with Nightingale content at the moment. I um, I consider that game. Oh, wait, we have a quest here to deliver beetroot as well. I'll check that out after I've paid the taxes. Layered Cactus, another channel member. Hello, hello. Um, if I remember right, you might have been one of my gifted members, I think. The last stream that we did had like 30 gifted members, which was insane. And a big thank you again uh, for that support, guys. Um, but yeah, so it's it's cool that YouTube has that feature now. It's uh, It was a place where it was really lagging behind Twitch, you know? Make it look glowy or like it's on fire. I could do that. Oh, I could try and do that at least. <laughs> um, let's track this quest and see where this dude is. He's around here somewhere. There he is. Uh, Mirror God. Hey, buddy. There's your taxes. So I like to get that done. Um, it's basically half of what we had on us, which means that we're almost there to pay in the next year's taxes. Obviously, they do go up each year, but that's pretty good. Now, let's see. Medieval marketing. There is no time limit on this. We just have to deliver 70 beetroot to Ponzamir, and we get 300 dynasty reputation. So let's go back and check out our farm, see how we're doing with that. We could start that quest off today get the farm, the beetroot farm underway and, and growing, um, and then get on with whatever else we're going to do. Also, um, if we do some other sort of farming, the materials we get from that we could use for crafting potentially as well, like if we farm wheat and stuff like that. So let's see, spring is a good time to do it as well. And we're on day one of spring. So we've got three days of this, which is pretty good. Uh, we shall see. I'm mega tired and coffee has been giving me insane heartburn. Yeah, I struggled with heartburn for years. I take a um, heartburn tablet, which is like Nexium, same thing, but I just always go for store brand because who buys who buys branded pills, guys, right? <laughs> um, so literally the exact same stuff, just cheaper. So I take one of those every day to avoid heartburn, which is annoying. Um, and yeah, coffee definitely brings it on. So it's a weird one though. I think it's um because I I hear mixed things about it. People say you shouldn't take a pill like that every day. Other people say it's fine. It's hard it's hard to know, but the heartburn, I cannot handle that, so I don't have much choice. Hello, Clovis. It's been a while. Uh much different time. Yeah, I I typically don't stream at this time. Um, but I had a huge amount of support in this series. Um from everybody who was watching, so I just put it to a vote in my uh, community section so that people can choose what time they wanted me to be here. And this was the time that won, so here we are. I mean, I'm I'm in a different sort of um, sleeping routine at the moment anyway. So like today, like right now it's half six. I woke up at about half four today, just naturally. So, you know, I don't really, don't really mind. Um, okay, this is unsown and this is unfertilized. So we don't have a lot going on here. We need to sort this out a bit. I'll just see if I left any seeds over here because sometimes I do uh, leave little things here. We've got some rot here, which is interesting. Okay, flax seed. That's what I meant. We can plant flax, um, which I believe is a springtime plantable, right? Um, pretty sure. What does it not say here? Oh, yeah, during spring. Okay, cool. Um, now, we don't have any beetroot. Oh, we do have beetroot seeds on. So we've got 16 of them. Um, and we have to deliver to Ponzmi. Was it 70 of the beetroot, I think? So not sure what the sort of conversion rate is from seeds to beetroot, but we might need to go buy some more of that. I, I'll i go check my, my storage and see. But yeah, I mean, this is meant to be a better time to stream. Um, if you live in Australia, you have two choices for streaming, which is to stream really late at night. So for me, I should technically start probably around 11 p.m. to midnight, somewhere in there. Um, or you can start really early in the morning. And if I was really going to try hard mode, I should probably start around 4 in the morning, not 6.30. But, you know, I wanted to give myself half a chance of actually making it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but I was actually early today, a little bit. It's only 6.30 now, and we've been streaming for like 10 minutes. So, you know, that. I love seeing all the animals we've got here. We've got all the sheep and the goat in there. Um, is it actually just one goat we've got? Maybe. 
Oh, there should be two. Uh, <laughs> he's in there on his own, maybe. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. Beetroot seeds. Wow, this really needs repairing as well. Let's do that as well a second. I didn't realize it was so bad here. Uh, yeah, we'll need to go buy some. So we'll repair this. Then we'll do the beetroot seed things. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's see. In my inventory, what do I even have? Okay, I do have the hammer on me. Uh, so we want to, let's see, repair this. And it actually needs resources. So we, we have some on us. We're a good place to be for something that needs resources. Let's grab out all the logs. Might need to do some general game stuff as well today. Sorting out um, like maybe some food and some water. Might even need to go cut down some trees. I'm not sure this is going to be enough uh, of what we've got on us. Which actually begs the question as to why that is. And I'm now noticing that we've got 20 people who need wood. And 5 people who are out of jobs. So... Yeah, this is somewhat of a problem, actually. Um, hmm. Okay, let's grab out anything we can do here to fix this up. Then we'll do, like, sort all the people out. Actually, we should do that first before it turns, like, daytime. So, management. Um, what is everybody so unhappy about? So, firewood is definitely an issue. Um, but I'm wondering why we're not producing any, like, logs and things. So, I'm guessing... Yeah, the excavation shed has repairs needed and needs other stuff. But the wood shed, like, why are you not producing? Should be seven logs a day right there, plus some firewood each day. Um, hmm. Okay, we could get an extra person working in the wood shed. That's another thing. So is there any people here who are not currently working that we can assign? Let's have a look at that. Uh, looks like Bogdala, and she's got a nine. Right, well, you need to get in there straight away. And then our production is going to go up to, wait, 69? Wait, it must have been on 69 before, surely. Like, she didn't just 10 times our production, right? Okay, I'm so confused right now. Maybe maybe she did. That's crazy. Uh, building this game is pretty fun. Like, so these fences and stuff here and decorational stuff, you can just build however you like. But then the actual buildings are schematics that you just give them the resources for. So, yeah. Uh, we need to chop down some trees. So let's get a little bit away from here. Actually, I wonder how much... Uh, if I go to inventory and uh, switch to the mounts inventory. No, she doesn't have anything in it. Okay. All right. We're going to chop down some trees, guys. Unfortunately, the nature of streaming, you do have to see everything. But I know some people prefer that, so... I guess some people are getting what they want, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, let's see, here's my axe. I'm trying to remember where I've uh, left everything. Oh, and here's the cows. That was pretty awesome. They were coming along quite nicely. And they're being worked. I think all the animals are being worked, so that's good. Okay, hopefully that doesn't, like, destroy my fence. I think we're good. And we get four logs from that one. Um, if they don't roll away. Can I pick that up over the fence? Yeah, absolute beefcake. I got this. Um, let me get to somewhere that's actually got some better trees, though. Because we're going to need a fair bit of firewood. Although the firewood demand's gone way down now. I think Bogdala... Well, yeah, it's it's gone entirely. Okay, that's really interesting. I think having Bogdala hired might have been part of that. Also, it is spring. Um, okay, well, let's not worry about that, then. Let's Because there's other stuff going on here, right? So... The mine, for example, uh, they need tools. What tools do they actually need? Uh, pickaxes, okay. Let's make up some pickaxes. Um, and that's good, because we want to get our production up, so that's one of the things that will do that. <clears throat> you can't always get what you want. There's a song lyric. It doesn't surprise me it's a song lyric, but I don't recognize it. So, um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm missing out on something epic there, but I don't, I don't recognize that one. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Trainer. Nice to see you, too. Um, yeah, Medieval Dynasty is an awesome game. I don't know if you guys have seen... Um, Toplets have got some other games that look really cool. Uh, so, sorry, I'm just thinking there is a lot of stuff here. Let's, let's clean our inventory a minute while we're doing this. Yeah, so they've got this game called Pirates Republic that's coming out. Um, I spoke to the developer. It's a little way off coming out, but it's um, I'm on a list for it, which is good. So I'll get notified and stuff, and then we can... Look at that game as soon as it comes out. Check it out on Steam if you haven't, guys. Um, let me see, Copper Axe, because I've got my Copper Axe. Pirates Republic. Looks really, really fun. Made by the same developers as this game. Um, let's put the meads in here for now. Why not? We'll have to sort all this storage out as well at some point. But, yeah, there we go. And I might put this salted fish over in the food storage because we don't really need it. And also, do we have any? Let's see. We've got uh, bronze bars here if we wanted to make up bronze tools. 
Um, we've got copper. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a few copper bars. All right. So let's grab, let's make up copper tools and let's grab that many. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, we're going to need probably logs as well. All right. You know what? Where's, where's the horse? We need to, uh, we need to load you up a little bit here. All right. Let's put that in there. And, um, how much can she carry? Let's see how much more have you got on you. So another, it's up to 75 from 36. So sort of there-ish. That'll about do. She actually can carry quite a lot. It's kind of surprising. There we go. That'll do it. And I'll get some logs. Awesome. Rolling Stones classic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tell me some other lyrics to the song. I might know it. I just don't recognize that one line. Come on, guys. It's it's 630, all right? Give me a little bit of a break here, all right? Um, go up all those. See if we can make up. Just pickaxes for now. Just make up as many as we can. This is lazy, but I am going to ride the horse in rather than walk him. Okay. Um, so if we come over to here, this is our blacksmith area. And let's grab out uh, as much of this as we can. This is cool. Like, So if I grab all of it, I'm still not overburdened. But it tells me that now. I think that's a new feature. It's part of one of the updates, maybe. Um, now, you need to uh, out the way, please. Yep. I need this Dobra Mill. Thank you, sir. And we're going to make up uh, some copper tools, like the copper pickaxe that doesn't exist. And I'm guessing I missed someone telling me that in chat. So we do need bronze. Okay. That was my next choice, actually, bronze tools. So the bronze pickaxe, yeah, I'm set on. There's a farming notification now. I think that's probably just because um, I've got that farm that's up on top of the hill. I get a notification there a lot that's like, um, you know, too far away, basically. Uh, what do we got here? Rot. Eight rot. Okay, well, I guess, I guess we'll take it. I don't know why that's just living there. Uh, let's put that in here, though. And let's grab these bronze bars. I've got six of those. And do we have any tin here? Just a bit. All right. So what we need to do now is put some stuff back, like the copper bars. We've got 41 copper, and we've got 70 tin. We probably need, like, half that. So, okay, keep going. Yeah, that'll, that'll about do. Very, uh, very, very organized this morning. But it will be good to have this done. Um, and a bit more production points, <laughs> which is what we're trying to work towards. Yeah, the uh, building up there was, was nice for my house and stuff. But the farm up there confuses my workers down here and they, they think they're really far away and stuff, which they, which they are. And it's also a little bit difficult going to bed night time as well. I'm going to go all the way up there each time, which gets a little bit uh, annoying. So thinking of changing that in the future and moving. Um, so actually, we're going to need to make up. I need to free up your workstation again. Poor guy. Wherever he goes to work, I'm kicking him off so that we can do our own thing. Should we go back into first person for a bit as well? What do you guys play this game in? Um, are you guys... Do you play it in first person or do you play it in third person? What do you prefer? And perhaps more importantly, how do you prefer to watch um, when I'm when I'm making my contents? Because I think I feel like it kind of depends on the situation. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah, need to free up your workstation again. <laughs> He's like, where do you want me to work? Every time he goes and does some work, I'm like, no, no, you need to you need to move now. Bless you. Okay, bronze pickaxe times seven. That should be the miners happy for a little bit. We've got a third person preferred at the moment. Okay. I you're the only one who's answered so far. Let's go back here then. Um, and let's go to my mine. Mine, mine. And uh, I know I don't have to put the tools in here, but it's the closest place. So why would I not? There we go. They should now uh, all be happy. Look at them. Sat around, loafing around, although it's kind of my fault. So let's go down to four work requests. Should it not be less than that? First person makes you dizzy. All right, so I've had two people say first person, two people say third, so I'm going to be upsetting people either way. I'll go, like, here. Then no one's happy. Everyone's slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, management. Uh, so the mine is now good. Uh, the excavation shed. They need tools. Uh, what tool do you even need? Does it even say? Uh, oh, they need pickaxes too. Okay, interesting. So what are they actually... They're getting this copper, clay. I guess they are kind of useful. Um, the stumbling block was wood, wasn't it? We need more more wood. So I might go on like a wood trip. A wood trip? I kind of knew what I meant. Yeah, I might. I think we need to get our wood production up. 
So that's going to be the plan for the new day. Um, what I'll do is I'll head down to Piastovia. Couldn't remember the name. It really has been a while. I'll head to Piastovia. I'll buy some more beetroot seeds, get a load of wood, plant the beetroot seeds. That'll all be done from tomorrow morning because what time is it right now? Oh, I think we can make it. We can just about make it. Let's go. I want to get these beetroot seeds and I can actually plant them tonight. Not that it makes a huge difference. It's just a little bit more efficient with the time. Yeah, well, that's why oh, um, when I'm making content, I feel like this view is better because you can kind of see what's happening. You're, you're watching it. Um, but when you're playing, I get that people might prefer first person um, for like a more immersive experience. Uh, there's another game that Toplitz has made that I've requested a key for because I'm very cheeky like that. <laughs> one of the things about, you know, being a content creator, one of the perks when you when you make game content is you can very often get keys to games unless they're like, you know, um, quadruple A, triple A, expensive games, whatever, you know. But if they're more mid-range sort of games, you know, I've at least got to ask, right? Um, okay, is everyone still here? So are you, you're not the seeds, maybe you are actually, why do I feel like you are? Yeah, beetroot seeds. All right, let's buy, I don't know, we had quite a few on us. Um, if we buy maybe like 30 odd, so now we've got 47, which is awful. Let's, let's buy three more because that's, that's a nice round number. Then we can have a, a little bit of a beetroot farm going on. And on the way back, if we see any decent trees, we'll load up our horse just to be a bit more efficient and we'll do that. Uh, yeah, so this other game, Lumberjack's Dynasty, looks looks interesting. I'd like to try it out. So I've requested a key for that. So I'll see um, see if I can get one. Um, and uh, might be something to stream or potentially make a video on. But check it out on Steam. Let me know what you guys think. And if anyone checked out that Pirates Republic game I mentioned earlier, let me know what you think about that too. Hello, Nina Oman. Uh, love the series. Thanks for making them. Thank you for, uh, for watching and for being here. Very much appreciated. I think... Um, so I recently, you know, talked about the fact that I hadn't made content in a little while because I hit 100k and then had like life crisis, <laughs> basically. And um, the truth is, I, I still don't like, sit here now and think, oh yeah, I know exactly what I want to do. I just don't care. Uh, like I, I, after hitting 100k, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? And it, I was like worried about it and stuff. Whereas now, although I still don't really know long term what, what I want to do as such, I don't really mind. I'm just like, well, you know what? I enjoy making this content. There are people who enjoy watching it. Um, you know, I got into YouTube because I've always been a gamer. I've always enjoyed it and I want to keep doing that. So that's what I'm going to do, at least in the short term. Longer term, we will see. From Prince Edward Island. Uh, glad to do it again. Thank you, Sylvan. Um, Prince Edward Island. What is that? Where is that? What is that? Is that a place or am I missing some reference here? It's, it's every time I um like people say stuff to me in stream chat and I I don't know what um something is, it's some sort of really popular reference that I've just missed. Oh what my axe is dead, really? All right. Um, do we have any other axes on us? Uh, we do. We've got a copper axe. Wow, twelve percent. That's not going to get us very far. Okay, maybe it will get us just enough through this tree. Was it this one that was already damaged? Yeah, might better. Just about get through that one, and then we'll go and get some better tools for tomorrow. I think I'm almost at the stage of... No, I'm not actually. I'm able to process iron, I think, but not make it into tools yet. So we'll check all this stuff out, though, and uh, see what we can do. All right, hello, Eclipse. Who was it who named Eclipse? Well, Draconicus, was it you that named Eclipse? It was one of my channel members, I think, a little while ago, but yeah. I actually can't believe how popular this series has been. In the best possible way. Like, I'm so happy that it is. But the first episode's now on over 200,000 views. And when I made it, I, I literally, I think I've said this before, but it was like around Christmas time. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't think this is going to do very well, but I really like the game. I'd like to just, you know, make a, a few videos on it over Christmas and just kind of see what happens. <laughs> so, so this was an incredibly nice surprise. And thank you all for that. It was you, Draconicus. There we go. My memory's not quite as bad as I as I thought it was. Right, the logs will keep on us. We're going to need those to make up the tool. Um, we can make some bronze axes, and that's probably the reality of the situation. But I want to see if I have iron on me. 
so let's see if we are able to make up iron. Something's telling me I'm not able to. I'm not at that level yet. So. It's an island on the Atlantic uh, Ocean side of Canada, east coast part of the region called... Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, Maritimes. Okay. That, that was a little more difficult than it was. Um, so, that's, so it is part of Canada, but it's an island off the coast. Is that um, anywhere near that island that's got the funny name? Um, what's it? What's, what's, you guys know this. The Canadian island that's got a funny name that people like have killed each other about, literally, because it's so controversial. Right, so this here, yeah, we need 5,000 technologies. So that's why we can't build out of iron. I thought that was the case, uh, but we can do this instead. And let's make up a load of axes. As I'm doing this, I'm worrying. Let's make up like three, go in the middle, because I think I might already have some. I also don't want to use all my bronze, because I'm thinking if we make some pickaxes while we're here, that would be a better use of our time for the excavation hut, because that needs some. So there we go. Oh, that's interesting, Taran. Okay, so we're, we're definitely not there yet. We need both the extra production points and also the extra um, uh, smithy level. Okay, Newfoundland. Yeah, right. So the way I just said it, I think is how you say it, right? Newfoundland. But people get annoyed if you say Newfoundland, right? I think that's a thing. Canadians unite. You could tell me. <laughs> uh, and then Labrador, that's a thing. Um, this game's a mix of Banished and Valheim. Yeah, it's a really cool idea, actually. Like um, a medieval-themed city builder game from like a first-person perspective where you're actually going into the town and building stuff yourself. I think it's really, really awesome. Um, and, and yeah, I think it does take it... Oh, my God, I have nine axes. <laughs> I just had this feeling when I was making them. I was like, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure I made a load of axes, and I was right. I've also got 45 bags for some reason, so we're all right on the bags for a while. Let's take, like, five of those. We won't need the scythe. Let's take a couple of hoes, because I like to have a couple of hoes with me wherever I go. <laughs> uh, also, let's see. Do we have fertilizing materials, better known as fertilizer? We do not. Do we have rot to make fertilizer? Well, we've got eight. That will not get us very far. Okay. Uh, manure, then. We're trying everything here. Oh, we've got a little bit of manure. Yep, okay. Um, more than we can actually carry, so let's get down to like that much manure. Just carrying a whole load of poop right now. Let's go. I do have more now. That is very true. And, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe we will need them. Uh, let's go straight up to the farm. And I'll show you guys. Uh, so this is the... They need a pathway up here, right? Because every day I, I have to ride Eclipse up round here. And this is the biggest first world problem you've ever heard of. But, um, you know, it's just time out of my day doing this. <laughs> yeah, I almost feel bad for admitting that this annoys me a bit. But it does. I have to show you guys Cat later if she comes in as well. For those of you who didn't see my last stream, there is a cat living with me right now. Yeah, that's true. My my lumberjacks and things will be fine for quite some time, as will I. Here's my little... Well, it's not a little farm. Uh, actually, it's quite a big farm. In fact, I think it's the biggest farm you can make in the game. Don't insult this farm. So, let's go over to here, first of all. I'm going to make up the fertilizer. 96 of those, which is pretty good. Although, not enough to do this entire farm, I don't think. However, we're not really looking to do the entire farm. All we really want to do is enough for the beetroot today, and then we can maybe sleep and do some other farming tomorrow if we want. So let's see, let's put the bag in here somewhere so we can do this. And we'll go over to this bit that's already been started on so we can keep it looking nice. We'll go from there. So let's see, I want field and I want the fertilizations. We'll put those down here. There we go. All right, we're away. The cat, <laughs> says Nina, yeah. I will try and get her in here to make an appearance, at least on the stream, at some point. Um, she will be back by popular demand. Yeah, she is. She's very good company, actually, because obviously I don't work sort of job um, where I'm going into an office, right? And it's, it's it is a weird thing because I've had those sorts of jobs, and I was actually thinking about this this morning. Like, and there's a lot of things I definitely do not miss about that, um, like that whole thing of working in an office and you've got to be in at a certain time and you know all that 
kind of stuff. Oh, wait, we're dying of thirst. Let's go get some water. I've got to eat and drink this whole episode so far. And he's a bit overburdened, so we're going to slowly go get some water. Cabbage will give you four rock points. Yeah, cabbage is great for that, right? That's the the thing everyone's been commenting. So I've got a load of manure, though, so I don't know how much we need it. But yeah, so working those, um, what I like to call proper jobs, people who work real jobs, not like me, um, there are definitely things about that I miss. In fact, when I was living in Melbourne, um, there was some nice things about that because, uh, let's see, didn't I have a load of... Uh, yeah, right here in front of me. That's the problem. It was too close to my field of view. That's why I couldn't see it. Yeah, I was, when I was living in Melbourne, it was kind of a nice routine. I had to get up early-ish, but not too early, like maybe 7, 7.30. And I'd walk into work, take me half an hour, walk home at the end of the night. And I was just working in a call centre, so it was nothing. The job itself wasn't like super fun, but I actually didn't dislike it either. And there was something nice about it. We had a good camaraderie there with everyone I worked with and... Yeah, we used to go like Thursday after work, we'd go out for drinks and there'd be like lunches and stuff we'd do. So yeah, there was things like that that, that I definitely um, miss now. Like when you're working like I am, it's kind of, you know, my commute is from my, my bedroom down here to my uh, my recording room, if you like, which is uh, it's just very different. But anybody else, I mean, I know that especially during COVID, a, a lot of you guys might be working from home yourselves now even if you know part-time like a friend of mine he works from home four days a week and goes into the office one day a week whereas pre-covid he was in five days a week so anyone else in that situation and if so how, how did you find it um interesting to know um also is this a bit dark should i sleep i feel like this isn't the best i might just um just let if it's too dark let me know or if you just don't care let me know because uh I always worry about that. Like I typically don't film videos during the dark. I'll always sleep through um, the night and then record again, or I'll work through the night doing something, but do it off cam. So you guys just let me know on that one. Do we have we've got a scythe? There's our hoe. Um, it's actually getting a little bit dark even for me to see. You know what? I'm just going to sleep. We're, we're going to do it. Our house is literally right there anyway. So yeah, COVID definitely um, had a big change, but without COVID, I think there's a, I would say a very small chance that I'm a full-time YouTuber right now. So in a weird way, like I'm, I'm I don't want to say grateful for it because, well, I can't sleep. There we go. Yeah, not necessarily grateful for it as such, but I'm grateful for what it led to. You know, obviously I wish something else could happen where loads of people didn't get sick and stuff. And I don't want to be disrespectful to the people who, who really suffered from that. But for me, it was something that, that, help me in my life um my brother is trying to get hold of me um he's saying there's no music on my stream and i know this do you guys want music would you rather i put a bit of music on in the background let me know in chat if you want some music i was just keeping it um like medieval dynasty sounds but yeah let me know all right now this is way better we can we can all see what we're doing here uh what is this oh this is flax who's did one of my farmers do this. Just have a random row of flax seeds right there. Okay, interesting. It's not a bad thing, I guess, but there we go. Nina's working from home right now. She's not a fan. Um, especially in a woman, housework, kids, I get distracted too much. That sounds like a positive distraction, though, because you're distracted by doing actual useful things. Like, I get distracted by, I'll just watch this YouTube short, and then four hours later, I'm still watching YouTube. <laughs> or I'll, uh, my brother works from home too, so we'll sometimes do a game of something, uh, and that turns into more than a game of something. It's better than when we used to live together, though, to be fair. We both lived together, both worked at home, and uh, our Xbox got a lot of use. Uh, I never felt the same after COVID to go to family. As in, didn't feel the same when you were seeing your family after COVID? Is that what you mean? Um, turn off shadows at night makes things brighter. Oh, that's interesting to know. Thanks, Draconicus. Could be useful for nighttime records and things like that. Um, yeah, do let me know about the music, guys. Sometimes I put a bit of music on in the background, but I, I, I don't know. I felt like for this game, I, I maybe wouldn't, but perhaps it's better if I do. COVID destroyed your lungs, unfortunately. You've had 10 times. Oh, my goodness. That's more than I've ever heard anybody having it. I'm so sorry. That's, that's awful. Um, 
sorry, I was trying to find my beetroot seeds uh, amidst giving you a little bit of sympathy there. Uh, actually, quite a lot of sympathy. That is a lot, and uh, hopefully that you uh, you're in you're in good health otherwise. And I know that COVID sucks, but uh, hopefully it's not you know anything more than just being a, a really bad flu for you because I know people get different impacts from it and such. I had it uh, once only. And um, <clears throat> it was really, I was just so tired, really incredibly tired. I'd never watched the TV show Suits. And I got through the entire, however many seasons of it there are in like a couple of weeks or something when I had COVID. Because I was just watching it all day for like a week or something. And then slowly getting back into doing some work. But I was too tired to, to video game, which is insane. Right? Very, very strange. Something different in the connection. That's interesting. Did you go through a period uh, during COVID where you just couldn't see them for quite a while? Maybe maybe that's it, you know? You just went a long time. and It's very strange, actually. I, I, was, um, I was away traveling for an extended period, and uh, it was... I remember speaking to my dad one time. I hadn't spoken to him for a little while, and his voice sounded different. It was just because I hadn't heard it in a little while. So maybe it's that kind of thing, you know? Uh, no one's really mentioning the music, so I guess you guys are good with it. But if you guys do want me to put something on, let me know, and I'll hook you up. What have we got? We got flax, and then a random cabbage area, and then we're into the beetroot. What, what is going on? This is this must be my workers who have planted this field and done a bloody bad job at it. Oh well, they're trying their best. We'll have a bit of a sporadic field. I wish there was a way that I could tell the workers not to work this field. This field was meant to be for personal use, so I could level up my farming skill, while it's also growing vast quantities of things that I needed to grow. Um, but never mind. Uh, I got COPD because of it, so it's not been too kind to me. I'm not sure what COPD is, um, but clearly it's not good, and apologies for, for that. Um, you know, I, I, so living in Perth, Australia, we, we were very lucky. Um, we locked down very quickly and we didn't um, get as bad of a situation as some other places as a result of that. But um, yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm going to just plant this uh, beetroot until we've done this next little bit and then I'll do something else because I realized that uh, Medieval Farming Simulator is not the, uh, the entirety of this game. See, personally, I could farm for quite a long time. I find the simple monotony of it kind of relaxing i think it's one of the things i like about this game sometimes you can just go and grind out a big project like for example a big farm like this and you know something nice about that and other times you can do something a little bit more exciting <laughs> chronic obstruction pulmonary disease well that does not sound good at all draconicus um hopefully you're uh, as okay as one can be with that I don't, I don't really know much about that um but uh Certainly doesn't sound great. Is that all my beetroot seeds? Oh, cool. Okay, we did the whole thing. All right, well, that's great. So that'll be that quest complete once that's done. Um, let's see if we can sort out these other workers. We've still got a few requests here that we might want to sort out. So where's my horse at? There she is. Go and get all this stuff back into storage. And once we're there, see if we can get uh, tools and things that people need. Hopefully people need axes because we've <laughs> got loads of those now. But we shall see. All right. Are there any uh, Australians watching right now? Um, my brother doesn't count if you're watching. Um, but yeah, interested to know. I feel like probably not at this time, but uh, that's why I thought I'd ask. Now, I'm not sure she's got anything in her. Oh, actually, that's another thing we need to do. We need to repair all these buildings. See, this is why I stream was good, because there's loads of stuff like this I needed to do. And if I did all this off cam when I came back to the series, you guys were like, why are you like, three years ahead of where you were. I get that whole YouTuber accusation then of, oh yeah, I did some stuff off cam. All right, guys, I'm cheating. Um, so it annoys me when I get that allegation. Um, but there we go. I, I do understand it as well. Oh, Taran's Oz. Whereabouts are you in, in Oz town? Uh, so management, what else do we need here? So Bronisad. Wait, isn't that just needs fertilizer? Well, we have some right here on us. So let's just grab that out. I literally just put some back into here. Uh, we'll grab the whole thing. Um, and where would he be? I think I've only got the one farmer's hut, so he's probably in here. 
But I just put the fertilizer into storage, so shouldn't he have just got it from there? I shouldn't have to come over here, right? Uh, this is him, though, so whatever. Um, probably could have just left it where it was. That should clear, though, and go down to two, I think. Oh, layered cactus also from Oz. Whereabouts are you from? Queensland. Very nice. I've been over there a couple of times. Surface Paradise and Brizzy. Um, pretty cool places. All right, I assume that's going to clear itself in a sec. Other than that, I love that, like, statuses are, like, pregnant and needs fertilizer. Apparently, they're the same, like, the same. You know what I mean? They're, like, all put in the same section, not just here. So all this stuff here needs repairs, which is something we definitely need to look at, even some of the houses. So we'll go on a bit of a repairing mission. Um... Okay, what is this? Not built. Oh, that's okay. That's those are the ones that I I built purposely unfinished. Um, farming. We've got this farm shed here has no resources. This is Bronasad. I mean, I've given him the fertilizer that should go pretty soon. The barn needs to be fixed. Animal husbandry. I wish there was a bit of an easier way to see this stuff. Production sewing hut. No resources. Okay. Um, and also the workshop is saying the same. So the workshop um, is trying to produce wooden bowls and planks. Now, uh, sorry, buckets and wooden bowls. What, what I'm thinking is, what if we, this here just needs logs. We need to get our production skill up. So let's just get rid of that. And let's put that up to like full. Because if our villagers are doing production, it gives us production points, the same as if we were ourselves doing this, right? So we'll put that up to full. And also, can we, let's see, get a second worker in here? Someone who's not like Dalabora, right? Would be a help. So she's a three. Um, okay, that's the last person we have free, but you know what? Why not, right? And then we'll do that. And we'll just make up bolt wooden bowls. We'll get some production skills. We can just sell the bowls. It is what it is. Um, so now are we down to still three requests for work? No, it's gone down to two. I was going to say, surely. And the farming thing went as well. So we technically got rid of two things there. Okay, awesome. Um, who else is unhappy then? So sewing hut. What resources do you actually need? Let's have a look. Again, this is important as well. Now, wool thread. We should have a load of wool. Let's go check that out. Uh, good afternoon, Joe Boo. Where are you that it would be the afternoon? Are you like Fiji or something? <laughs> Actually, you could be in America. Go the other way. Um, so let's have a look. What were we looking for? Uh, wool, right? Uh, that's my inventory, so not many there. Down here. Wow, yeah, we got a little bit of wool. We got a little bit of wool. All right, that's awesome. So best way to do this. Let's. I'm going to go to the sewing hut myself, and I'm really encumbered, so we'll do it the quicker way. Let's go. That's right. You can call me Kazen. I've been called worse. <laughs> I get all kinds of things. California. Very nice. Um, I missed the bridge. I was looking at Joe Boo's comment. Not blaming you, Joe. Um, just, just explaining my horse crash. So over in the uh, sewing hut, it's actually where my wife works in this game as well. We've got her uh, doing the sewing. Like any good wife would, right, guys? <laughs> You can't say that in 2024. Just did. So, if we wanted to make up stuff here, um, probably would be something like fancy, right? For like maybe tunics would need wool. Yeah. Hmm. For now, I think I'm just going to get her making up a load of the, the wool and fabric stuff. So, I brought all the wool over here, which I didn't. Oh, she got three over here already. Um, so she's got 700 wool, and what we'll do is we'll get her to work on that instead. So let's go and put these down to zero. They, they definitely need a slider bar for this, or a way to manually type this in. Um, it's coming, right? It's gonna, it's good. one day they will. So we won't worry about the linen for now. That might be something that we do, and we can have her making wool fabric or wool thread. So. The wool fabric needs wool thread. So for now, if we just get her making this up at like 100% until she's gone through the hundreds of wool that we have, plus in the meantime, we're still making wool from our sheep farm. Again, this is helping our production. So this is just a passive way and we're going to get 20 of that every single day. 
which is 120 of the wool being used up every day. So in like a week, she's going to get through all of that plus whatever we're making. So now that two should go away. Oh, it has. It went down to zero. Oh, it's Ryan. Hey, dude. Um, okay, we've cleared all requests, which is fantastic. We have chickens everywhere over here. Um, kind of nice, though. Kind of like that. So with all that done, now we can have a look. Um, mm, it's Dwayne John, The Rock. Um, hello, buddy. How are you doing? Uh, oh, we've got two extraction points to spend here as well, guys. Um, okay, 15% less durability on Pigot Show. That's kind of cool. Minus trance. I mean... Oh, Mule. This is interesting. Um, so this is increased carry weight. Yeah, let's spend it on that. I feel like that's that's a good way to spend it. Um, so, oh, I didn't mean to cut. Where, where am I? There we go. Increase the level. Increase the level. There we go. So now we can carry a lot more. That's cool. Okay. Now, in terms of technology production, we are at almost 1,700, and we've got to get to 2,500. So we've got a little way to go. So the big question is, what are we going to make up? Right, what things can we make that are going to be useful? And I think a good place to start actually is let's see what we've already got on us in our storage that we could make up. Yeah, so Dwayne John, um, he's uh, a big fan of, of goats for some reason. Oh, sorry, just ran over a teenager. Um, but I'm the mayor of this town, so I don't stop. I'll just keep going and let the courts deal with it. <laughs> Medieval corruption, guys. Um, and I just pushed about four wrong buttons. All right. What do we have here that we can make stuff out of is the question. So, I mean, this is the so tools, consumables, cloves, crafting, I suppose is where we want to be then. Stuff we can craft with. Oh, like feathers. We've got a thousand feathers. Um, can be used for crafting bolts and arrows, but we're going to need a lot of other stuff to go with them. But that's interesting to think about just in and of itself. Uh, we've got a lot of seeds for farming. We don't want to worry about that too much yet. But lime, we've got so much limestone. But we, this is just for insulation, right? Hmm. Why is the, the logs... That should give up quite drastically by the end of the day. We're supposed to get about 70 of those a day. Um, and then we've got a load of sticks and stones as well. So we can make stuff out of that. That might be a good way to go, actually. Like torches and stuff. Okay. So let's have a look at... Um, the crafting so no what am i trying to do how q okay yeah boy it has really been a while so wooden spears um simple torches are sticks and straw do we have a load of straw because that could be something we can make a load up of get rid of some of our sticks um straw wow five thousand yeah okay so to make up for example, uh, these simple torches, we need nine straw and one stick. Okay, so let's do 900 and 100, right? So let's go start with the straw here. And we'll just see how this changes where we're currently at. So let's see. Oh, God, it's going to be hard to get it. Oh, wow, there it is. Right, 900 of those and 100 of those. And we're going to see how this changes things, right? So right now, our technology for production is 1668. Okay, everybody remember this. And now we're going to make up 100 of these and see how that changes. So 1668, what does that take us to? That is the question. Okay, I'm definitely carrying too much. 16... Oh, 77. Seven. So from 68 to 77. Seven. Okay, that's not the most fun you can have with your pants on then in terms of trying to increase your production technology. Um, what do we even... So we've got all these simple torches now. We can sell them. Okay, I'll do that. In the meantime, guys, any suggestions from you guys? What could we what could we make? What production stuff is the most bang for your buck here? I can keep experimenting and trying a few things out. But I if there aren't medieval dynasty people watching, you guys will probably know a better way of doing this. Oh, there is a grow nothing icon, is there, Christine? And you're from Coffs Harbour. That's awesome. Another uh, fellow Aussie. Well, I don't know where in Australia that is, just thinking about it. I've got a feeling it's either WA or New South Wales. I'm going to guess New South Wales. Tell me if I'm right. 
Um, and thank you for that. I'm definitely going to check that out because I would really like to tell them to leave my farm alone. And then we'll stop getting notifications that they're too far away and stuff. And also we can do things with our farm that we actually want to do. Rather than um, them messing it up for us. Although they are trying to help. And I understand that. They just don't really do it right. They can't help it. They, they don't know any better. Yeah, production is going to be an important one for us to uh, get the hang of. So we definitely need to figure out something to make here. Um, in the meantime, I want to sell these. Because why not? So there we go. We got... 200 coins from that i mean it's not gonna you know have any kind of huge impact but we just as well do it um now maybe i'll have a quick google see what uh google recommends in terms of increasing production skills because i'm sure there must be a, a better way to do it i think i've, I've struggled with increasing my production skills throughout this game, which is why it's so low. It's like 1600 and everything else in this game is, is way above that. All my other technology points and stuff. So not entirely sure uh, why I've, I found it so difficult. Is it, I mean, do you guys find the same? It's, uh, is it just tricky in general or is it just me? Um, so we've got loads of the sticks and stones. That was the thing. We're getting a farming notification now. Uh, oh, there we go. First market store was definitely into the micromanagement of extraction. Um, yeah, that in terms of what you were selling, because extraction won't get my, my technology up to actually make it, will it? Um, just have a quick Google. Let's see what Google says here. Apologies for the pause, but this might be worth it. Anymore. So medieval dynasty level up production. See what people have come up with. And there is a Reddit for it. This is from two years ago, but we can still have a little look. Um, quests. You can get tech points from doing quests. Is that still a thing? Anybody know? Um, and then other people are saying, you want to get to 5k to make smithy. Better to make bolts. Let's go see about bolts, because we do have all those arrows just sat there doing nothing. Maybe we could... Why is there a bow here? Okay, there's a bow just on the floor. All right. You're now living in there. I don't know what happened, but uh, there we go. Yeah, let's check out the bolts and see. Um, they'll probably sell for more as well. And if we make up 100 bolts, we can see we got like less than 100 points for making up 100 of the torches. Maybe this is going to be a better way to do it. <laughs> Once again, this poor guy is working on a thing that I need. He honestly cannot get anything done. I feel sorry for him. Uh, I guess bronze weapons is probably the best if we can. So bronze arrows are sticks, feathers, and bronze. You know, that's going to be a way to do it. I've got so many sticks and feathers. It's just getting the bronze. But we only need one bronze per 10 arrows. Let's do that. Let's go and make a ton of bronze. And in the making of bronze, we're getting production points anyway. So I've got a bit of tin here, a load of copper. Let's see if we can get some more tin. Yeah, arrows says Draconicus as well. All right, thanks, guys. Looks like arrows is the consensus here. Arrows and bolts. I'm very sad. My coffee's coming to an end. Best coffee ever. Five minutes up the road for me. I'm very happy. Large, skinny, flat white. That's how I have mine. How do you guys like your coffee? And I don't have the skinny milk for, like, the same reason most people do. Like, if it's to save calories and stuff. I actually just prefer the taste of it. Um, oh, Wait. If we turn tin ore into tin, is that technically... Hold on, we're going to need our, our horse here. Is that technically um, production? Surely, right? Because we're producing. I mean, we could we could really go to town on this and, and just get a load done. So let's um, let's see here. I want to get into that chest and take all this ore. So tin uh, is down here somewhere. Okay, let's see. Can you actually move right now? No, that was too much even for you. All right, let's see if we get rid of like half of it. Can you move? In fact, let's get rid of all of that first and then get rid of like a bit of this. Still won't move. Oh my goodness. All right. They need to add carts to this game, don't you reckon? Even if it was like a theoretical item that you could attach to your horse or something, so you could have your horse and cart and they could carry more. That'd be awesome. All right. You like your coffee uh, black? Well, that's good, right? The black coffee is the best way to have it. 
I think part of the reason I like the milk is it helps me with my fasting as well. So I, I've been doing this for like uh, about six weeks now where I'm not eating um, at all uh, apart from one meal a day. So um, um, I think that helps. With that. Well, I wanted to get off the other side. You know what? Maybe I can just craft from up here. Can I free up the workstation from here? No. Can I, if I get off now, do you get off the correct way? No place. Come on, dude. Just get off to the left. You got this. I'm hoping I'm close enough because I don't think I can move. Right, free up the workstation. Um, and also, let's have a look at technology. So, production right now, 1679, almost 1680. If we craft up all these tin bars, 1680 is where we started. Let's see where we go. Yeah, I assumed it would, um, uh, Draconicus, that this would contribute to the production. It should do. But it, I, I think I just it just hadn't occurred to me that might be a way of doing this. So we went from 1680 to 1690. It is slow. 10 points there for 70 tin bars. It is it is slow, but we are edging our way there. Now, can I get into this chest here? Get out the rest of the copper uh, and tin, and then craft up the bronze. So we make up 80 of those. Let's see how this goes. Just checking empty under plant type will allow you to do your own fill. Thank you, Christine. Um, I'm definitely, uh, I need to have a look at that. Just want to try and get some production stuff done here. May the forge be with you. Love that. Okay, uh, let's see. So technology for production is now went up another 10-ish, I guess. Yeah, seems about right. Um, so we now have on us quite a lot of bronze bars. So let's open this chest up, put all of them in there. And all of them in there if we can. Okay. Oh, we have still have a load on us. All right, so we'll go put the rest of them back in the thing. And we'll pick up the other materials, which was feathers and sticks. Okay. Let's go, Eclipse. What if I should have built a resource storage closer to the uh, smithy? Might be something I would do if I was doing things differently. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, that was awesome. You fast 816, and my food coach said milk prevents fasting cycle. So yeah, it does technically prevent fasting cycle. Um, I, I am sort of aware of that it does that, but I've still found I'm getting good results with the fasting, and at the moment it's just kind of helping me. But you're right, like technically milk is breaking the fast. Um, so yeah, maybe that's something I should look to change. But it's like my um, it's one of my life life's pleasures. <laughs> my coffee. Uh, what was I here for? Feathers was one thing, and I think if we take we need ten feathers for each one. Let's take like 500 of each of feathers and sticks, and that should probably do us for quite some time. Um, there we go, 500 of you as well. Oh, look at that. Like a pro, guys. Raw Dog Games says, finally. Finally what? Finally, um, I'm making some more Medieval Dynasty content, probably. Try almond sash coconut milk. Yeah, I've heard mixed things about those types of milks. Um, but the biggest thing for me is I just I don't know if I could if I'd be into that. I uh, yeah maybe I have had almond milk in the past, but I don't know in coffee if I would be into that or not. I don't know. That might be the next step for me. Um, okay, can we use you to get us just to here? She just about can move. Okay, please dismount to the left. Okay, we might just be able to do this. All right, so let's see. Production is 1706. Let's craft up a load of bronze arrows. Do we want to unlock this? Same resources, right? I just have to buy this. Yeah, it's literally the same resource. So I'm going to buy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up, yeah, one of those. Okay, so from, I don't even remember what I was on. This, this isn't helpful, right? 1706, I think I went up exactly by one, right? What if I craft up just one of you? Let's see. Uh, well, thank you, Raw Dog. I'm excited to have you here. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming along. I think uh, da -da 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 -da. what am I even doing here? Production 1708. So it's better to make this 1708. So right now, let's see. It goes from 1708 up to what? 1708.1. I am so confused. What? What about if I make this? 1708.1 goes up to 1708.9. So it's better to make them, right? It's better to make these than these. Because if I do this, <laughs> why am I so confused? 
<coughs> this goes up to 1709.1. Yeah, I think it's better to make these, I, I, unless I'm miscalculating. Let's make up 45 of these. Let's see. You have to do it, Nina. You have to do it. It's all part of the game. Um, okay, so now we are 17361. Uh, 1736, I should say. 0.1. Definitely slow. What is the value of what we just crafted? Not a lot, to be fair. Not a lot. Um, although, for the, we do have 470 of these, so... Let's go sell them all. Let's see what we get out of this. And I'm still trying to think of other production things to level this up. New South Wales, halfway between Sydney and Brizzy, land of the big land of the big banana. What? <laughs> what do you mean, land of the big banana? I was right though. It is New South Wales. Um, sorry, I've got to check this out. Land of the big banana. I'm gonna Google. Maybe it's a bad idea to Google this. Land of the big banana. Nothing's coming up. Oh no, it is. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Um, all right, how do I show this on stream? I've got to show you guys this. This is crazy. Um, oh, I need to have this set up way better than I do. Um, you know what? You guys just have to Google it yourselves. Um, it's on my to-do list to set that up. That is so funny. Land of the big banana. Okay. What a random thing that you have just claimed to fame as a as a town or whatever. That's great. <clears throat> yeah, the other thing with the milk in my coffee and that as well <clears throat> is I've just had it at like 6.30 till 7 in that sort of half an hour window. I usually have it sort of around 9 each morning. So today was kind of early. So let's say 9 to 9.30, latest 10. So then I'm then fasting until dinner at like between 5 and 6. So... There is still a fasting period happening, but you're right, Nino, about the whole switching up the milk thing. I need to get back into black coffee. See, Starbucks. I love Starbucks black coffee. There is no Starbucks in Perth. I'm very disappointed. That'd be that'd be one way through this. Um, all right, hey dude. Uh, please buy all of this off me for all the monies. Uh, so there we go. We just got one thousand four hundred seventy-eight coins, and he didn't even buy them all. Actually, this isn't bad then. So we actually made some money out of doing this. Um, Careful not to take the quest. Just want to do this. Oh, hey, Rodo Games. Thank you so much. Um, we'll come back to selling stuff. We're in with a 999 uh, super chat. Thank you so much. He says, I have been binge watching you for a couple of weeks now. Thank you. That really helps the algorithm. <laughs> um, I have another uh, firefighting channel, but I'm starting my own gaming channel uh, to try. You've been amazing with tips and points. Well, thank you so much, Raw. Um, that sounds really interesting, though. A firefighting channel. Like, could you tell us more about that? What do you actually, uh, what do you do on there? Like, are you a firefighter or something like that? I have mad respect for firefighters. I have kind of a personal uh, reason to be very, very fond of of firefighters. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's get rid of all of this. We are we're making some bank, guys. This is nice. Um, hey. You can buy all of my arrows, and uh, you, you need a few bolts as well. Cool. So we're now up to 15k from this. So even like the production has been slow, as we said, but the um, the money's been been okay, and we are still going with this. Another thing I can look at is try and get more people on the passive production stuff. Um, that could be a thing we could we could consider too. Yeah. Okay. You know what? We need some water as well. I'm just try and remember that um also raw dog if you mean my tips and pointers for um helping out with gaming channels i'm glad that they help oh there comes the uh music notification i get the the uh, donation and then i get a second like notification for it after from music from Streamlabs. is it in time for you guys do you hear the music at the same time as the donation shows up or does it come after like it does for me um but yeah for anybody who uh wants to talk content creation stuff i'm always happy to do so in my streams and also in my uh, my discord should be a link in the description if not it's linked in every one of my video descriptions but the um there's a content creator creator section on there and uh i think we've got around 100 people now who've taken that role on the discord um it's a bit quiet in there but if you check through you will see that if people ask me questions i do my best to answer them fully and 
and go into detail and stuff. So yeah, if you ever want to talk about that stuff, streams or, or the Discord is the place to be. Um, let's have a think here. Comes after. Oh, there you go. You guys get to have the two as well. It's something I need to sort out, clearly. <laughs> I always forget, and then I remember when I get the donation in the stream, and then I go away and I forget. And yeah. Typical uh, Ben memory happening there. All right, let's see. Can I put you in there for now? That's pretty good. Um, okay, nice. So, production. How much more have we got to go? About 800 Rex, 2,500. Yeah, that's roughly what we're looking at. Um, so, if we had people in the kitchen, smithy, sewing hut, workshops, these are all places where production can happen. So, I just wonder whether we can... Um, do we have room for people in these places? So let's look at production. So kitchen, right, Smithy has only one out of two. Now I'm pretty sure there's no one who's gonna be able to work here, right? But we could look to get a new person into the town. So let's do that. Someone who's got good production skills. We wanna get them into the town. What I might need to do though is a bit of repair works first on some things. Buy all the roach pipe perch in town, go to the stick house and cook it, sell back the meat, make back. Okay, which town is that, Dwayne? Off the vendor in, in town. Yeah, which which town? Is there, or, or just any town? Firefighter EMT, I post helmet cam videos of fires and rescue calls. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Um, I'm guessing sometimes you must have to, like, blur things out and edit them because you must see some things that wouldn't be, um, you know, YouTube safe, right? Um... But it's cool that you do that and bring that to a wider audience and stuff. Um, as I say, a whole lot of love and respect for firefighters. So thank you for doing what you do um, very much. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it's like a personal memory thing there, guys. That's a little bit sad for me. But anyway, um, oh, I was going to repair stuff. That's what I was going to do. I wonder if she dropped all the logs off yet because we're waiting for that right uh we've got 21 it's probably enough to at least make a start uh so let's see let's get the hammer out and on to repair um uh, well we need planks for the top but these bits here we can do uh there are two towns you can do it in the main town and the fishing village oh that's cool because the fishing village is really near us okay so we'll do that tomorrow because that will count as production as well and um, perhaps while we're down there, we can try and find uh, a new person to bring in. So, yeah, that can be both those things. Do we have planks in here? One. How do we have one plank? What is happening? I swear we're supposed to be producing this stuff. Um, I don't really want to go and turn all these logs into planks either, because we're going to need the logs. But, like, under management, if we go to the... It's under extraction, isn't it? The woodshed should be making us... Oh, it's not making planks. Oh, okay, we're just... It's making us... Well, it's going to be 70 logs a day. I'm not really seeing those. Okay, you know what? I, I'm i going to just risk it. I'm going to go over and turn everything I've got on me into planks. And I think that, like, by tomorrow, those 70 logs will be deposited. So we'll see. Yeah, it makes sense, Raw Dog, yeah. Um, oh, we, we have uh, some fish in here. Okay, I'll just collect those as well. Yeah, that makes sense, but um, but still cool that you do that and bring it to um, to the the wider audience, you know. And uh, I'm sure it'd be a lot of interest in that from people. Uh, so yeah, over here we just want to turn, let's see, blanks, and obviously we get some points for uh, for making these some production points. I'm just opening this large bottle of water. It's like one of those one and a half liter ones you buy from the supermarket. I just got to be so so careful. Why on earth? I've literally. Managed to spill some. Why do they fill these up so much? Like, anybody else think this, or is it just me? I'm soaking now. I need a snorkel here. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've just got the one woodshed, yeah. Which is a good point. Uh, in terms of production stuff, we could make another one. So maybe we'll get someone in to help out in... Was it, was it the kitchen? Can't remember now. And um, and maybe get a, a second woodshed built. That could be something we could do in the stream as well. Anyway, while I've got these planks, I want to just go and do a bit of repair work. <laughs> so, here we go. 
and repair. So I think there's a few buildings that, that need to be looked after a little bit here. So start with these. Actually, that's a, another building I'd really like to get to. This is the point where we can have the uh, the builder's hut, is it, or whatever, where they go and do the repairs for you automatically. Hmm. Anyway, that's done. Is there anything else that really needs repair? The excavation shed, the herbless hut. Um, in terms of houses, there's a couple. Okay, let's grab some other resources. Uh, tap water is drinkable here. Yeah, it is. I, I, I drink it all the time. I, I bought this bottle of water recently, but I, it's not something that I'm super worried about. You know, some people talk about, um, like... Hold on a second. We can't carry very much of this. How much, are we carrying something that's really heavy? What have we got on us? Planks, sticks. So I wanted to take some stones as well. I don't know what I'm going to need for the repairs. Probably won't need stones. Let's take some straw. I might need that. Yeah, I'll, you know, people worry about fluoride and stuff. I'm, I'm, I don't care. I don't think it's really a big deal. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But I, uh, I did buy some bottled water recently. I don't really know why. <laughs> like I say, I'm not really bothered about it. I don't know why I'm bothered with that, but there we go. Um, okay. So we'll look, this one here. So just a bit of straw. So the repair work, for the most part, it doesn't need resources that are gonna cripple you, but it's it takes a lot of time going around a town like this doing it all yourself. So it'd be nice once we've got a worker in who's doing that for us, I guess. Okay, there you go. And just have a little run through here while we're here, see if there's anything else that needs a bit of a touch up. Yep, once we've got these resources on us, we just as well. Oh, hold on, there we go. So that one did need planks. Everyone's just chilling here, having their dinner. It's a very, very cool game, this, isn't it? It does feel very like immersive and and challenging as well. They don't make things easy. You see, in like when I'm dedicating all my time to just trying to level up a certain skill, in this case production. Still not super easy to do that. It takes time and effort. But I think that's uh, a good thing in the long run. Okay, so heal up these. Uh, these are the pig styles that we're sorting out now. And then we got all these donkey shells here. Two to three wood sheds, you reckon? All right. Perhaps we'll make another one in this game then. Um, oh, this is right. I always struggle getting into these places, don't I? There we go. I did make a little sort of thing here. All uh, right, let's do this one first. Good job I brought some straw with me. It's cozy. It is cozy. <laughs> it's a cozy medieval village. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, cool. And this one. I mean, I figured while we've got these resources on us, we just as well do this, but I don't know that it's going to help in terms of the production of these buildings or anything like that. I guess if they get too, like, in a state of disrepair, then... Maybe they, they break all together or something. So I've never let that happen, so I'm not actually sure. So what do we got? Tomorrow is our final day of spring. So hopefully that means that then the next day the beetroot will be ready for harvest, which would be nice. Okay, all that's done. Just go do these last couple bits over here. Yeah. Oh, this is our decorational well. Decorative. You know, I've had, people say you can't say decorative, and now I've had people saying, because I've mentioned it in videos, like, oh, I'm not allowed to say decorative. It's uh, decorational. It's decorative. And now people are saying, no, decorational is a word, apparently. I don't know what to believe. I think it's like a word that's newly been added or something. Some people get, uh, they don't like that word. <laughs> so, but you know, it's YouTube. You're never going to make everybody happy, right? Surprised my cat's not coming down here. When I'm talking for this length of time, she usually will come in here. Maybe she's a bit uh, camera shy today. All right, there's all of that done. Um, I think that'll about do us for now. Yeah, let's leave it. Mr. Death, sir, says, picked this game up a few days ago. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for the videos. They've been a real help. Uh, you're very welcome. Thanks for watching. Um, glad that you've uh, found them helpful. Where's my... There, there she is. All right, we're going off to bed. Eclipse for the final sleep of... Oh, no, it's technically the last, second final sleep of spring. Yeah, when I made this um, 
series, it wasn't setting out to necessarily be tutorials as such because I feel tutorials would be a bit um, a bit shorter videos, right, and a bit more to the point. Obviously, if you if you watch these, you you know if you if you're new to the game, then probably you will learn things. I think though, I've I've learned more from you guys playing this uh, series, <laughs> like. Most of my good tips and stuff have been comments from people that I've then included in the next episode. So a big thanks to everyone for that. Uh, mood will drop and production uh, with damage building. Okay, interesting. So there we go. There is actually a, a, a proper need for um, keeping on top of it. It's, uh, it's good to know. Okay. So new dawn. Oh, talk with the devil. Here's my cat. Hello. We were just talking about you. Go in your bed. Got a little cat bed down next to me. Which she wouldn't use until I put my backpack on it. She likes to sleep on there. And now she's um, pretty much ruined my backpack. So I'm going to have to buy a new one for when I go travelling. Yeah, that's it. Just just sit down there rather than the bed I bought you. Honestly, cats. Okay, what were we doing today? There was something in, in mind, wasn't there? Um, the new woodshed was one thing and getting the new villager in what was the production building it's the smithy yeah so just we'll get extra people in there producing um so i'm kind of coming down here now but i don't know that i needed to i think what we need to do instead is head off to the town and look to get someone new in although actually is there even a house for this person that's a good question so there's a house here where are all these houses like this house here who's living here so, two out of four, but I still couldn't add a person into there, could I? Um, but, like, one out of three, that's over at the fishing village. All right, these ones here would work, I think. So, we've got Bogdara, who's a woman. Oh, she's the hunter, though. So, is that up in the hunting area? Maybe it won't matter, actually. I don't think it does matter, because they start work as soon as they lose, leave their house. And we've got Herbert, who's a man. So, actually, we don't need to find a house. What we want to do is... Put a little waypoint there. We're going to head off to Astoria. We're going to do the uh, fish thing potentially as well. And we're going to get in someone who's good at production to be working in the uh, the smithy. So that will help with our production longer term. Um, it's a little bit more of a, like I say, a longer term approach that one. Something that's a bit more passive, but it will add up over time. Decoration is a word, always has been, as well as decorative. No, yeah, decoration all. That was the word. I, I would say, like, oh, I'm just going to put the well here for decoration all purposes. And then people were like, no, you have to say decorative. So I started saying that. And then people were like, no, no, decoration all is also a word. So I don't know what to believe. <laughs> um, right, we need the campfire, don't we? Which is... Yeah, right in front of me. That's why I couldn't see it. Okay. So we want someone with good production skills. Blimey, there's a lot of people here. Right? Um, but they're not all potential villagers. It's like all kinds of things. So, um, is it alt that I thrust? How do I? Yeah, it is alt. Okay. Uh, so, who's got good production skills? You only have level two. Oh, there's a level three there. I think three is the highest we can get anyway, right? All right. So, who's the three? You are. You're 29, but you'll do. You passed your best, but. Oh, can I even. Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't need any density reputation. That's what I was wondering. Okay. Um, hey, don't attack her just because I didn't choose you. So let's go into management. And first things first, she needs the house. So it would be one of these, I think. Um, how do I just go back without doing that? Why do I keep doing that? So this one right here. Uh, for the homeless Miraslaw. In you go, love. And also, we're going to put you um, in... Sorry, let's get rid of the houses there. Into production at the smithy. So you can do that. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I didn't put her in there. So there she is. She's in there. So yeah, so now producing a lot more stuff there, which is cool. It looks like they've got all the resources for that. And it will help in the long run. So all those requests should go away any second. Yep, there we go. They're both words. Yeah, I think they're both words. People know what I mean, right? People know what I mean. Anyway, so down here is where we're going to buy all the fish, right? And then cook it up and sell it. And that is going to be profit and production. The two Ps that we care about. 
Okay. So I think the fish guy is usually around here somewhere, right? Oh, hey, Gwen. How you doing? Um, and thank you. Yeah, it's a cool game. Do you play it yourself? Are you the fish dude? No, where's the... There's usually an icon. There it is. Fish icon up there. She's down this way. All right. Starting to get the hang of this game again. <laughs> Haven't played it for like a few weeks and just forgot everything. Um, is he still in bed? Wakey, wakey. I want to buy some fish. Yeah, hey, dude. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to you right now. What time is it? 8.45. This is medieval times. You should be halfway through your day's work by now. Oh, there we go. I'll work him up. All right. So, was it Roach she said to buy? Um, so, we'll buy all of those. And I kind of want to buy everything because I just need the production anyway, so... There we go. Oh, now we can't move. Um, oh, this wasn't the best plan I ever had. I don't want to rob the chat. Wait, what? I didn't take anything. It took this your reputation, even though I didn't steal things. That's so unfair. All right. Let's see. Uh, it'll be consumables, I guess. Let's throw you on the floor. No. Some of the fish. I guess the pike. Then we can at least move, and we have to come back here for it later. Uh, now we need to cook it. Um, where do we cook it? It was Dwayne who was telling me about this, right? Dwayne, Dwayne John. He said about I can cook this up. I've uh, been playing some streams since the co-op release uh, a few months. Really enjoy it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game, hey? Um, go check her out, guys. Gwen the Shield Maiden. Check out her content. Um, she's done some awesome uh, Valheim stuff in the past. Uh, oh, can we cook it here? Maybe? No? Do I have to go home to cook it, or is there... A can I use the campfire? I think Dwayne said there's one nearby. Yeah, that's the nice thing about this game, uh, Gwen, actually, right? The fact that you can do it as much as you want. I have to go out of town? Oh, okay. So I can't cook anything on here. All right. So I have to, like, make a campfire, right? From my... um. Isn't there, like, uh, maybe under decorations, fires, we make a campfire up? Is that is that what we're doing? We'll give it. We'll give it a try. Oh, that's alright. No need to thank me anytime. I don't think it will be of a huge help, but <laughs> I always like to mention people who uh, who do the good contents if they're in my stream. My cat's meowing. If you if you hear meowing, that's what it is. You guys want to see the cat? Should I put her on camera for a second? Blimey, how far do we have to go to be out of town? Oh, there it is. Ha ha. Ask and you shall receive. Alright. Um, oh, now I need a torch. And I don't think I can even make a torch, can I? Oh, I can. Somehow. I, I had the stuff on me. I knew that. I'm a pro. Alright, so made the torch. Uh, right, light the fire. There we go. Craft. All the fishes. The quests are really cool, and the fact you can put your villagers to work. Um, good. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, um, it's a really well done game. For sure. Yeah, Roach is... I, I understand, like, better, but I'm just trying to increase my production, so I thought I'd buy it all. Um, might not be the, the best way to do it, but whatever. Do I want to make this now? Roasted fish meat? I guess whatever we cook up is good. It's all helping with our production points, which is what we're trying to do, just to get us up towards the... Um, what even is it? The market store, that's it. Had a, had a blank moment. All right, so we're going to sell all of this. Um... Like, even if it costs me a bit of money, I don't really care. We're doing fine for money in this game. I just want to level up the production. And it's not necessarily how I would play it if I was playing just like a, a single-player playthrough, whatever. But for content, it is how I want to do it, just to get myself closer to making something interesting that you guys are going to want to see. Um, and I think the market still would ticks a, a big box in, in terms of that. So, yeah, that's that's my thought process. Where is the fishy seller? He's down here. Just a light job. I'm a hoarder. I am, yeah. I'm not very good at inventory management. Um, yeah, and that's not like, oh, because I'm streaming, I just won't do it. it. It's like, no, I'm just I'm just gen genuinely not good at it. Um, right, buy some fish off me. All this roasted fish meat. There we go. I mean, I feel like we profited overall anyway, didn't we? Possibly. Um, I should should have checked that. I feel like we did. Okay, Kat, you are being super cute right now. She's just asking for attention, I think. Um, you know what? You guys want a little cat break? I'll be one of those annoying people who shows you how cute the cat is. 
All right, let's see. I turn this here off and this on. Yeah, there we go. There she is. Hey, cat. She's a chunky girl. <laughs> yeah, but she's she's pretty cute though. We love her. She made the stream. All right, cat. See you later. This is my office, by the way, guys. This is my fan. Yeah, enjoying this little look around. All kinds of stuff happening. Oh, look at that. She's showing off for the camera. She's a true showman. Oh, yeah. All right. There's enough cats now. Not everybody likes cats, so. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> there you go, guys. Enjoy the cat. All right. Let's go cook up these. <laughs> then we'll uh, sell them. Just a little break there in proceedings for the uh, the cat show. She's the real reason people turn up for the uh, for the streams. I, I know. I know the truth of the situation. And there's Eclipse, where we left though, we love that. Alright, you can you can stop showing off now, cat. The camera's not on you. Use the space on my horse to carry stuff. That's that's very uh that's a that's a newbie way of doing it. Um no I know, I know I should, but um Oh here's my fire. I was like, will I ever find it again? Pro like me. Of course. Cat tax paid indeed. That's uh every stream tax paid for the cat she has to show up she earns her keep she doesn't really chip in for the bills and stuff but um her cuteness is uh, appealing for some people when i'm streaming and then uh makes you guys more like to watch a bit longer which helps me to you know make more youtube monies <laughs> by the way i um so for the adverts in this stream you can choose like conservative, balanced, or high. So I put these uh, adverts for this stream to conservative, which means you guys shouldn't see too many adverts. Um, have you have you found that to be good in this stream? Let me know. I feel like with streaming, it's like you guys, um, I get donations most times I stream anyway, which is generally going to be more than the ad income. And... So I'm like, you know, I don't I don't really want adverts. It also, like, the adverts are going to hurt retention anyway, people will leave. Oh my god, she is the cutest thing right now. Lying on her back. Um. So yeah, hopefully there's not been too many adverts for you. Okay. Roasted fish meat, 168, wow. So yeah, we're on almost 17,000 coins now. And we've got 129 roasted fish meat still to sell. So I swear we've we've profited quite significantly from from this venture, as well, of course, as getting our production points up here, closing in on the eighteen hundred. Again, it is a grind. That's the nature of this game, but it's one that we are uh, we are making progress towards at least. And a stream was definitely the best way to to at least get started on this. And then if people are watching the next episode, and I've done a lot, I can direct them to here, and also. Uh, if I do some stuff off cam, it's... Uh, I don't think there is a way to cheat in this game, but not everybody uh, always knows that, and they, you still get accusations. <laughs> All right, let's see. Fish meat. She's taking the lot. 18,500. We are loaded. Corny says that my cat looks identical to her cat, even down to the split chin. Yeah, the split chin is a very cute feature, actually. Um, we unfortunately had to put her to sleep a few weeks ago, but I'm happy to see yours. Oh, I'm so sorry, Courtney. Um, I have only known this cat. This is my girlfriend's cat, but she lives with me because I work from home and stuff. So this cat has only lived with me for like a couple of months or something. Not very long. And uh, I, so I can only imagine how difficult it must have been for you because I would be... I would be a mess if I had to do that. So I'm very sorry you went through that. But I'm glad that you uh, enjoyed seeing my cat. She she may feature again later. <laughs> YouTube dislikes people like me. I, I block ads. Uh, but this doesn't bother you because I'm a channel member. It doesn't bother me anyway, really. I, I get it. Obviously, if literally everyone did it, I might be in a bit of trouble. Um... But they don't. And so, yeah, I think it's it's just one of those things. I mean, there's going to come a time when it's not going to work, right? YouTube will figure out a way to make it so that ad blockers don't work and stuff. 
Um, but people who watch, but they block the ads, if it's a case of if they couldn't do that, they wouldn't watch. It's better for YouTubers that they watch because it's still going to promote the video and stuff like that. So, uh, Peter, Peter, this game is called Medieval Dynasty. Check it out on Steam. I think it's around 50 Australian dollars. Um, not sure. In the US, it's probably about 30 or something. Just depends. And yeah, Dwayne, don't leave me astray. The goats wouldn't be happy with you for that. All right, let's put stuff back in the inventory just to keep Dwayne happy. Uh, nah, just kidding. I actually... Uh, do it myself because things are getting a bit crazy so i think are we wearing all this stuff i guess we probably are um and the goal of the game is to build up a medieval town peter so we're actually in mine right now you start from scratch but we're at the point now where we've got all this stuff going on so there's goats and sheep in here loads of houses and stuff over there blacksmiths mines lumber yards we got the lot talking of lumber yards we did discuss making another woodshed and i don't think it's a terrible idea because we, we do want to try to produce more. And so that having the uh, extra woodshed means we will produce more. But also it will give us logs that we can produce more ourselves with. Yeah, right here might be a nice little spot for it. Because we've got this whole thing going on. It's right next to this as well. Which is never a, a bad thing. Um, thank you Thorwald. I appreciate that. Next town fish trick. Yep, we could do that too. Just thinking about building up this woodshed. What do we think? put it in here maybe build a house for it as well let's do that in a minute we'll do the we'll do the fishing let's go get some fish and do some cooking oh now just thinking i need to get the materials to build the campfire and uh, i think i've got a torch on me now oh here's the cow pen i was telling you about um didn't quite mean to come this way but okay here we go we're going this way now are there other people in the world? So no, but you can do multiplayer with your friends through a join code. So it's very simple to do. You just set up like when you're starting the game, say you want to do multiplayer, you get a join code, give it to your friends, they join you. And you can have up to four people on the world at any one time. So more than four people could play on the world, but only four at a time. Uh, so I just need sticks. Just grab, you know, like a load of sticks. That's more than I need, but that's fine. And we have the torch on us. Okay, cool. Do that in the night. Um, you can build when they're not working. Yeah, that's a fair point. I can. It's um, I'm much more productive during the night time when I'm making videos because I'll just not record. But when I'm streaming, I feel bad because it's a bit dark. <clears throat> um... How do you automate? Well, if you if you build things, your villagers will do things for you. So if you build like the woodshed, you know, they, they will produce wood for you. Um, what you need to do is if you press tab, and go into your management section right here. If we click on the buildings and go down to, let's take the woodshed as the example. So extraction, double click on woodshed. Make sure you go into this bit here and tell them what to make and it will tell you here how many of the resources you're going to get each day some people build the woodshed put the people in but they forget to do this bit and then you're not getting that um but i think like i'm like fairly late stage in this game now and i still have to um do a fair bit of my own production as well it's, it's hard to get it to a stage where it's fully automated and there's just nothing for you to do but if you think about it it's probably on purpose because otherwise why would you keep playing right maybe they do that on purpose so uh medieval dynasty is 25 percent off on sale until march the 14th oh that's awesome so if you guys are interested in this game this is a great time to buy it and obviously i don't get any kickbacks or anything like that i'm just saying um you know that's how it is i guess you might sell foods um yeah fish meat i can buy wait hold on i want to buy all of that um because we can but there's not another fisherman in this town wait was it this was this even the town you meant um uh, so it's fish meat because this is unless it's like a different person that would sell this stuff but hmm Maybe there's another fisher person in a different town. I'm sure uh, Dwayne would tell me. No, I meant in the game, in the night, it's better to build as you can. Um, yeah, because, like, the traders are asleep. Why are you knowing? Am I in the wrong place, Dwayne? Is that, uh, she's not going to be her. 
I mean, this is still going to work, right? Not the fish meat. What, what, what am I buying then? Oh, this is this, it's not this dude. Yeah, I mean, I've just, I feel like I've gone to every trader there. And um, unless you meant a different town or something, let me know while I'm cooking this up. I, I think I did something wrong. The roach, pike, and perch. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I'll double check. That, that guy wasn't selling roach and stuff, was he? Or was he? And I just missed it. It's fine, though, because like I say, even if this costs me money, it's still um, going to add to my production points. The same dude. Okay. Let's try again. So show me your wares. Um, so, like, roach. Oh, there, he does. Okay, cool. So we get all those, all of those. And do you have roach as well? You do. All of those. That is fine. We, we're going to be cooking this up. All right. I, I, I missed that one, guys. My, my apologies, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Like I say, I learn more from you than the other way around. Market stall tools are good to sell. What we're trying to do though is just get our production up at the moment, Obsidian. So we're buying the fish and then we're cooking it because that's production points. And then we sell it, which is good because it um yeah, we, we actually make a profit on it. But it's more just about those production points than anything else. Okay, so can we make up the uh if we go to the right section? Campfire, there we go. Just down here, perfect little spot for it. Set it on fire. Craft up all of the fish meat. Let's go. Yeah, not much profit. I'm I'm doing fine for money though. Like like I say, not necessarily how I'd play it if I wasn't making content. But as I am, I just want to prioritize trying to get to a point where um we're able to make that market store because that'd be a nice next video to make. And I think making another video on this series would be a, a really good idea. And I think uh, a few people have said they would quite like to see that. Um that series continue so that's really the only goal of what i'm trying to do today is just edge towards being at a place where we can make that um and if we if it costs us a bit of money to do i'm not really worried but there we go oh really i could use the stick house or the sick house oh the sick house yeah yeah like where we start oh, okay it's all right it's all right we had a little journey um we'll be good and Dwayne is telling me as well now. See, Dwayne and Draconicus, these are these are the two uh, people who know about this game. <laughs> Actually, two of the people who know about this game. Two of many that have given me lots of uh, helpful tips and things. Um, all right, let's see. Everyone's about to close up for the day, but before they do, let's see if we can rob them all of their hard-earned cash. Um, so we'll start with you, because why not? So we want to sell... Where are you here? All of this. Um, right, well, that's one. What? Not enough coins? Oh, you have nine coins? What What happened to you? Someone robbed her before we got there. Uh, you have a thousand coins. That's a little bit better. Let's do a bit of that then. Uh, I think we were on 18,000 before we started this. Uh, we're going to be on more than that by the end. So we still profited, just not as much as we could have. Um, but it's actually a pretty good way of leveling up your uh, production skills. And because this is the last day of spring... We can do all this again tomorrow because they will uh, have renewed their monies and stuff. Oh, hold on. Oh, he doesn't have enough coins either. We must have sold some stuff to these guys. Oh, it was the arrows, wasn't it? We sold arrows to all these people earlier on. Uh, so some of them don't have any money. Yeah, we're really just bankrupt in the town this season. Almost through it, though. 28 fish meat left. Did we? Was there any traders here we didn't speak to? Um, you have 50 coins left, so it's definitely not you. Hmm. That might have been everybody. Yeah, six coins left. Uh, oh, actually, you. Oh, no, 13 coins. Hmm, okay, probably that was everybody. I'll just double check in, because it only takes two seconds to quickly go, go into these people. All right. Nine coins today is worth a lot. Nine coins. Well, if you had nine coins from medieval times, with inflation stuff, it probably would be worth, <laughs> like, a fair bit. Or if you just, like, dug up nine medieval coins right now, they could be worth a fortune, right? That's the thing. Person in the bar. Oh, okay. I think the person in the bar was here though, right? Because the beer symbol was next to that person. We'll check. We'll double check. Um, tavern's something I'd really like to make as well as part of the uh, series. I do. We'll make everything, I guess. But Oh, you. Can we sell to you? Um, Wait, a few rounds of cards. Um, oh, wait. Did I just take a quest? Or something? No. Can we play cards with someone? That would be so cool. 
Hmm. Bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, some medieval Bitcoin going on here. All right, let's go sleep. New season. We can complete the beetroot uh, quest and get 300 reputation, which is great because I got 20 uh, reputation deducted from me for stealing when I didn't even steal. That was very unfortunate. Oh, well. Such is life. Oh, we better have some water as well. We we're almost dead. Again, I forget this way too often. They should make a little hat in game that has like a water pouch on the side of it and a straw. So that like late game, you can kind of make that up and you don't have to worry about drinking water. Um, highly uh, doubt they're going to do that, by the way, but uh, it'd be quite funny if they did. We're getting a little bit poisoned, but that's okay. Yeah, I did pay taxes. We actually started off with doing that. So I knew how much money I'd have left. And so we've got 21,000 coins right now. Our taxes for the last season just gone that we paid there was uh, 8,000. So we're like, we're good. We're so good. Um, check my quest. Uh, uh, this one here doesn't have to be done until next season. Well, it doesn't, it's just whenever. So we're going to do that in the next season. But yeah, taxes definitely paid. We're, we're good. Um, all right, let's go up here. I reckon uh, conspiracy theory here, Dwayne John and Draconicus are the same person. <laughs> They're giving me the same advice at the same time. And they even both just said KK in chat. I, has anyone ever seen them in the same room at the same time? Think about it, guys. I reckon they could be the same person. <laughs> It'd be quite funny if they were. Uh, I must have been paid when... Uh, oh, AFK. Yeah. You might have been AFK or something, yeah. I did it, like, near the start. You might not have been in the stream yet or something. Uh, okay, he's doing that farm for now. We need to turn that off, don't we? Let's see if we can do that, actually. So, um, basically, this field up here, we want all to ourselves. Do we? I mean, we are going to get farming points from it. They just get a bit annoyed. Oh, we need to feed some animals as well. Hmm. Let's just have a look at management of fields a second. So, a field... Uh, which field even is it? How do I tell? I guess it's the one that's not been assigned... Crops or something? Oh no. Wait, what is going on here? So that's. How do I find out what field this is, guys? It must be the one where I'm stood. I can just click until I find that. But it would be one that's unassigned. So it's got to be like this one, right? Field seven. I think. So field seven. Oh yeah, okay. So there's like all kinds of stuff here. Um, is there a way then? So. Can we just assign it as empty? What? This is all assigned to cabbage? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. They, they can just get on with doing that. Um, what animals need to be fed here? The geese. Okay, let's try and do that actually before. Um, actually, if we can sleep, we will. We'll do it first thing in the morning. I'm not that worried about the geese. They don't really produce anything that we use. Uh, oh, we got an hour to kill. All right, let's go do it. No worries, trainer. Thanks for coming by. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you in the next one. You get more production points if you produce more complex items, especially items that require other process items like thread, bows. Crossbows are good. Simple food won't give you much. Okay. Thank you, Richard. Let's try that out tomorrow. Um, some more complex stuff. And just see, you know, what we've what we've got potentially there. Uh, you're the same, just from different metaverses. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you guys were the same person. I rumbled you. Oh, yeah, the woodshed. That was the other thing, right? Yeah, Draconicus, that does seem uh, a bit bad, actually. Um, oh, we don't have any animal feed. Okay, interesting. So, I wonder why we don't have that, then. So, we're going to need... What, what, what is it made out of? Like, I know there's a bit of straw in there somewhere. Um, but I don't remember the other materials. Let's go check it out. Um, well, thank you very much, uh, Link... Sh wait, Link Shandig, I guess is how I say that. Link, I'll call you. <laughs> Uh, glad you enjoyed it, and thanks for coming on to the stream as well. Let's put all of the straw in here. See what else we need for the animal feed. Um, so, straw, yes, rye grain and oat grain. All right, let's go and check that out. I beat you to it, Dwayne. Only just, but I technically did. If we turn off a field, I would like uh, to know how to do it. Yeah. Not entirely sure myself, but I'm also thinking I don't really want to. If they want to just 
be farming that in their free time. That's that's fine. Um, okay, oat grain. Just grab a load of you. Same with the rye grain here. So we've got a fair bit of this stuff, but maybe rye is something we want to plant more of. Um, just grab a bit more because I think we're going to need a bit more than that. Because if I make up a load of animal feed and just store it, then it can be used by uh, all these other animals as well, by the people that are looking after them. Okay, there's my straw. So now, animal feed, 66. There's not actually loads. Not sure how much I'll be using up just to feed the geese out of this, but... 66 animal feed in total doesn't feel like a lot. I forgot everything, am I the same Kaizen? Um, well, it's that uh, old expression of no man will ever walk in the same river twice because the next time he does, the man is different and the river's different. Something like that. I, I think it sounds a bit more profound than, than the way I just put it, but you guys know what I mean. So we're all changing at all times, so no, I'm not the same Kaizen. How about that? All right, fill the trough. Um, that was 30 of our animal feed just to do that. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was... Uh, not a lot. Maybe we need to get to doing a bit more farming stuff as well. How is our production coming along? 1750, man. It's a grind. This game is definitely a grind. Not a complaint, just a statement. Some people enjoy the grinding games. I, I typically do, for the most part. There are obviously times when uh, things being a bit quicker might be nice, but it's not the end of the world. I need to make more AF. I guess you mean more animal feed, and if you do, then yes, you're right, I do. Um, but it might be something we need to work on a bit longer term. Let's get all this stuff back in here a little bit. So uh, there we go. We've got materials to make it. That's a good thing. Um, yeah, okay. All right, we should be able to sleep now. Um, people in my barn, yeah, they do make it. So if I go to the um, uh, farming section here, we've only got one person in each barn, but... Uh, that they are making animal feed as well as other things, but they're only making a little bit each day. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's something I could look at. I'd, as I say, I'd, I don't mind doing a little bit of stuff myself. I think you're always going to need to do a little bit yourself. Like, you can't necessarily fully automate everything uh, without putting in a crazy amount of time to doing that. And when you're making content, I think it's uh, it's a little difficult to spend too much time on that stuff, maybe. I'm also, like, far from expert at the game as this stream has proved <laughs> but uh that's the way it seems at least richard found a spreadsheet online that lists all production xp you can send the link if you like and that's okay uh yeah it might not let you send it in chat i'm not sure if you'll be able to um but you could send it to me on discord if you like um my discord is just kaizen because you don't need the hashtag anymore, do you? The, you just have a username on Discord. Pretty sure mine is just Kaizen. Um, so yeah, you could, you could try that. All right, new season. Let's go. So the beetroot is not ready or it is ready? Let's have a look. Um, no, it is not. It's still growing. We have a random cabbage here that is ready. So we can take that. The flax is ready, but needs a scythe. The beetroot... I'm guessing that's going to be harvestable in the next season, unfortunately. So we're not able to collect on that just yet. Oh, well. Um, I did that, Dwayne, because I just don't like to sleep on cam. What was for dinner, Christy? Um, yeah, I don't have that command. I don't, or like commands in general set up like that. That's my bad. I made uh, homemade fajitas for my dinner last night, and they were good. I like them as well because they're like tasty, but you can get like a ton of veg and salad and stuff in with them, so it's like mid-range healthy too. Um, oh, Michael Jackson's joining the town, guys. Billy Jean is not my lover. Imagine if humans actually walked like this. I guess we wouldn't think anything of it because that would just be what we did. To be odd. Anyway, um, orange chicken with fried rice. That sounds lovely. Uh, so do we want to make the woodshed now? Maybe we should do that. So... Do we want to do that? 
We could. We said over here, didn't we? Sleep on cam, whatever do you mean? What, what? Sleep on cam? Oh no, I meant like, sleep through the night. I'm not going to be one of those streamers who uh, films themselves sleeping. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Uh, let's see, I need that. And I didn't even need that, but okay. So, woodshed, right? It's only a little building as well. Actually, we should, you know what? It is a little building, but we should definitely do the woodshed too. Um, extraction. That woodshed too. Yeah. And let's put that... So I'm thinking like we're going to want a house for it as well. There's some houses over here with the farms. We could do something like here. A nice little woodshed there. You know what? Let's actually do it like this. So I'm going to put the woodshed in here. Just like that. And then I'm going to put the houses. And we'll do a little simple house. Like over here. And it can all be part of the same kind of area, right? So the people that we get in to live here can live there and work there they have the shortest commute in the game but i think that's how we're gonna do it yeah i'm happy enough with that it looks a bit higgly piggly but i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing so we're gonna need some stone and uh, a lot of other things too let's go pick up all the resources and see what we can do with that okay um where is my oh she'll be back in the thing won't she because oh there she is <laughs> hey girl Let's go. It's building day. Hip hip hooray. It's building day. Right, get her nice and close. And make sure there's nothing in her at the moment. Nope. Okay. Okay, so stones are something we're going to need. Um, Probably quite a lot of because we're going to make the house out of stone. So let's grab as many as we can there for a minute. And let's see, you are 12 out of 75, so it's 63 of stone that we can put into you. So, um, wait, what? Do we... Why could I not carry more than that? That's Okay, that's a bit odd. Uh, chocolate cabbage in there for now. Don't know what I'm doing with that. Mm, all the rock can go in there too. That was uh, previously my dinner. Oh, hey, Euphoria. Um, enjoy when you watch back later, and thanks for popping in. Appreciate that. Let's grab a little more stone out here. Actually, that'll do for stone. Let's grab some, some logs, because we're, we're going to need a lot of logs, too. Uh, we should be under L, probably. 15. Why do I only have 15? I don't know what's going on. When's my next live stream? Um, it's a good question. I, I don't have one planned currently. Um, yeah, if I, I, it's quite rare for me to like plan one like I did today and schedule it and then actually turn up. <laughs> it's just like, uh, this was a big thing for me today, guys, right? Um, but next time I do one, um, you know, if, if I'm going to plan it and stuff, I'll announce it like on my channel. Like if you subscribe and stuff, you should get a notification about if I schedule a, a stream. Um, not the best answer, I realise, but an honest one. I've never been the best at scheduling when it comes to YouTube stuff. I kind of just like make stuff as I go um, and as I want to, rather than doing that. Yeah, it, it would. If I schedule it, will definitely be scheduled on on um, YouTube. Um, but sometimes I'm like, you know what? I fancy uh, I fancy making a, a stream, and I do so. Yeah, then it's like, I just do it in that moment. Which I, I realise this is a super unhelpful answer, but, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so stone wall there. Some stone walls on here as well. I've got so much stone, and it is the best in terms of uh, insulation, I think, right? So we just as well do this. Um, do I want to keep this just defaults? Hello, you just uh, see what's going on there. Cow just checking out the bill. Oh, how did you do that, Christy? Is that just a YouTube thing or is it a Streamlabs thing? Um, thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Oh, it didn't work. Maybe my Streamlabs isn't set up at the moment or something. I'll need to look at it. Um, 
because I don't stream much, it's not something that I prioritize to be to be honest, but like perhaps I should. So that needs to be stone. Um, Sylvan, let me double check that for you right now. And apologies for skipping out on that one. So let's see, animals, cows. What did you want it to be called? We've definitely got loads. We got porterhouse. Someone asked for that. That wasn't you. Someone else. Uh, yeah. What would what would you want the cow to be called? I'll do that for you now. Um, and apologies for for missing that. I do occasionally uh, miss those things, but I, I certainly try to keep on top of it, especially for channel members like yourself, of course. Um, okay, that one there, and that one there. All right, I'll have to look into that, Christy, um, at some point. If I start to stream more often, then I'll do it. Sylvan the cow, perfect. All right, let's do that. Yeah. And you want it to be a female cow, you said, right? Yeah. So, well, just one of these, right? Um, can be the this one here because she's slightly younger. Um, wait, what? I just want to rename you. Open details, maybe. Open details. Wait, what? Why am I? Okay. I click on this cow. Oh, H. I'm I'm so pro. Oh, Sylvan with an N. There we go. All right, there you go, Sylvan. Be funny if it was the one that was watching us build just then. <laughs> She's still there. Oh, she went. Uh, all right, that should be everything. Now we just got to build this thing. Oh, okay. I'll I'll um I'll take a look, Christy, because I think um I think I I recently was like, oh, why am I paying for Streamlabs? I don't use it, so I cancelled my membership because I was thinking it was a Twitch thing, but maybe it was for my YouTube streams, and I shouldn't have cancelled it. Entirely possible. Uh, no worries, Sylvan. Thank you, mate. Thank you for uh, for the support. I think naming a cow after you is, is the least I could do. <laughs> um, yeah. I would do it for more people. I, I said um, in a video that, you know, I'll do it for channel members and stuff, but it's only because otherwise, in terms of numbers, I couldn't do it for everyone who requested so just trying to whittle it down a bit so if channel members or donators or whatever want um animals named after them then that's how we do it but would do it for more if i could remember when i first started my channel i used to give every subscriber a personal shout out and mention and build things for them in my minecraft world because i'd get like you know a couple a week <laughs> so it was easy to do then i started getting more and i was like right okay well I'll, um, because it was Minecraft, I was building mines, and so I'd name, uh, each subscriber had their own section of the mine, their own little mine shaft thing, and, uh, and then we got too many to, to do that as well, which is obviously a good thing, but sometimes think about those, those early days, um, I'm trying to get to the horse, oh, we got there, okay, yeah, those early days of YouTube, there was, um, there was a lot of fun to them. Because, uh, yeah, you're just starting out and you're not getting any views or subscribers or anything like that. It's, um, yeah, it was good fun. I use Streamlabs chatbot for free. Oh, okay. There we go. So I don't even need to do that. I just need to set it up. That, yeah, I think I was paying for some sort of pro version of Streamlabs when I was on Twitch that I don't need anymore. And I, so I cancelled it. But maybe I just need to activate it and set it up for your, for the YouTubes. Streamers helping streamers is awesome. I think, yeah, for the, for the most part, I think most content creators are happy to help each other. Um, I think the ones who see it as a competition, like a zero-sum game or whatever, are looking at it all wrong. Like, all content creators are, are in this together, in, in my opinion. Um, you know, like, for example, so Christy's here in chat right now. Me and her both make Valheim content. Um, but I don't see it as we're competing against each other. I think people there'll be people out there who will prefer Christie's content and people out there who will prefer mine because they just prefer different styles, right? So if someone's not going to watch my videos, like if I can send them to Christie or some of the other content creators out there, then great. You know, like if content creation in general is just being supported, I think that's important. Um, and I think most content creators look at it like that, you know? Um, when I was very small on YouTube, I was fortunate. I had a couple of uh, big people shout me out um, I think Laser Beam was one of them, weirdly enough, which is crazy. But I know Dan TDM was one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Laser. 
in fact, both times that happened, I um, I was on a flight for several hours, and when I came off the flight, I had all these messages from people on a video saying, um, "Oh, who's here because of laser? Or who's here because of Dan TDM?" It's weird that both times it happened, I just happened to be on a flight, and then uh, my phone was like blowing up with notifications because a load of people commented and stuff saying they were here from Laser and Dan, and I was like, "That's uh, that's crazy." <laughs> So um, it was little moments like that along the way as well that as a very small content creator really gave me some hope that I could do what I do now and do it full time. It's like, wow, if these guys are shouting me out like, you know, maybe maybe I can I can do this, right? And it's like little moments of um, like support or whatever. I think it's really important. Um, thank you very much, Christy. I, uh, I certainly try to be supportive of, of anyone making content no matter, you know, what size they're at. The thing is, we, we all had uh, zero subscribers and zero views at, at some point, you know? We all started from there. And it's bloody hard to do it. So when I, when I see a small channel that's putting in a lot of work and effort, I'm like, yeah, like, I, I've been there, I get it, it's hard. And I, I, the thing is, though, in the truth of it is that shout-outs don't really do all that much. You know, even, like, the shout-outs I had from Laser and Dan TDM, there was a small influx of views because of that like relative to the overall views of the videos and stuff um and then it died down very quickly you know so they they definitely help and i think they can help in terms of like i say i felt kind of like oh wow dan tdm shouted me out and they they were kind of inspirational but in terms of views and stuff not so much but yeah it is very hard you're right christy and it doesn't get easier that's the thing people think that you know, if you've got like maybe 100,000 subscribers, it's so much easier and stuff like that, but not necessarily. I mean, like a few videos I've made have got um, a few thousand views recently, right? And Christy, your Nightingale video, is that on like around 8,000 um, views or whatever? And, the, the, and there's a, a million examples of that where a channel who has fewer subscribers will get way more views because the video they made was better. And I do believe in that. Like generally, if you're making good content, um, you'll get the, re the reward for it and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's tough. You have to constantly be kind of on your game and trying to come up with new and exciting video ideas and stuff like that. So it's not easy. But there we go. I have a resource clip. Oh, I always forget about that resource storage. I never use it. Yeah, I built it a while ago, but you're right. Um, next time we'll try and get the these logs. There we go. Yeah, we need to do a bit of log chopping ourselves today, unfortunately. Never mind. Just hang just hanging out. Chop oh, this is blocked. Okay, this is too close to the town. Are these ones up here blocked too? Uh no. Good. Teasing me with these trees. But yeah, it's uh content creation's uh it's an interesting sort of uh line of work to be in I constantly wonder about what the future might be like especially with the advent of ai now um people using ai to come up with video ideas video edits even the videos themselves now there's so many there's channels that are blowing up that are um you know content like i asked ai to make a donald trump video uh, advert for mcdonald's or something like that right and they'll get hundreds of thousands maybe millions of views and they do this over and over again, just getting AI to make all the content for them. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Completely legitimate YouTube strategy. You know, not, not a complaint or anything. Just saying it's interesting how this is what's happening now. So AI is coming in. Um, and like AI couldn't, uh, at this stage, do what I'm doing. But I don't know how long it is until it could. <laughs> you know, like, because it's AI, right, it's going to evolve very quickly. Um, and yeah, it's interesting. Makes you wonder about the future of content creation a little bit. And on top of that, YouTube has changed so much. Um, like, you know, years ago, you could start making Minecraft videos. If you did that at the right time, you'd have millions of subscribers right now. Um, just from making fairly boring Let's Play videos, right? Boring compared to what people are doing today. Um, I'm a big fan of some of those videos, so I'm not saying anything bad about them. I'm just saying, you know, that's kind of how it's compared to today. But yeah, um, thanks Nina, thanks for coming along, um, and uh, and do enjoy uh, if you if you watch it later. 
But yeah, I think it's uh, it's just one of those things you have to just kind of enjoy the ride. And and uh, try and make good content and try and do what people want you to do to some extent. Um, AI won't have the personal connection with the community. That's, that's very true, yeah. Um, and, and there are always going to be uh, advantages to having a human doing things, I think, versus AI. I think where it becomes um, an interesting thought, though, is is you see AI now where there was this um, this girl on Instagram that was purely an AI generation, and the guy was making like tens of thousands of dollars a month from her Instagram account because people thought she was real. Um, and I'm not sure if it was like she was doing some kind of OnlyFans or what was going on with that, but... You know, so it's getting to a point where it's kind of indistinguishable uh, between AI and reality. Um, and we're in still like relatively early stages of AI. So once that starts to change, you know, if you could have an AI and people think that it's a real person, maybe at that stage, they do have an advantage over us, even for the personal touch of the community. Because people think that, you know, that person is real and they can message you could message like like for example let's say i i've got 10 million subscribers right all of them could message me at any time and i could reply and it would seem like it was personal and from me and responsive to their questions and stuff like that right i could never do that as a human but you could program an ai to do that and to simulate that so i think it's entirely possible that one day ais form better personal connections than we do So it's an interesting thought. Um, who knows? Who knows what will happen? What I do know is I think for, for now, it's not an immediate threat to me making Medieval Dynasty content <laughs> and such. Um, here's a question for you guys, chat, in terms of AI. Do you think overall AI is a good or a bad thing for the world? You know, is it Are you worried about the dangers or do you see it as more upside than downside? Uh, yeah, that's very true, Christy. It does advance so quickly that it is hard to police and hard to know what's right and wrong with it because as soon as you make a decision on that, it's it's changed. And especially anything to do with like making laws and stuff, we all know how slow that is as a process, right? It just takes forever for people to uh, to make laws and pass laws and stuff like that. And by the time you do that, whatever you, the law was about, AI is entirely different now, so it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, so... so it's a weird one. I think I know my way back from here. Um, let's see. That's Piastovia. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, I've seen some people say that AI is... Uh, what was it? It was like it's more of a threat to the world than something. What do they say? Than World War Three or something like that would be the nuclear war would be or something like that right um and some of the the most intelligent minds have you know like elon musk has spoken about it. i think did bill gates speak about it and whatever you may think about bill gates you've got to give him the fact that he's intelligent right but these people have spoke out about the dangers of it warned against that was it stephen hawking as well oh, he's another one that's uh, under fire at the moment isn't he actually seems like who isn't these days it's crazy it's a tool that can be used for good or evil. That's very true. Yeah. But if it has the potential for evil, how many people does it take to want to use it for evil for it to do really bad things? Nuclear energy can be used for a lot of good. It can provide a lot of power to a lot of people who otherwise wouldn't have power and stuff like that. But it can also blow up millions of human beings, you know, in, in a short period of time. So it only takes that one crazy person to get access to these things, right? And then it's a problem. Obsidian Oak says that uh, AI is equally dangerous and, uh, and good. Let's do these. Jack Attack. Hello, Jack Attack channel member. Uh, I think AI is a good thing as AI could potentially be used to help us advance in all kinds of fields. Um, like medicine, science it could also be used. Oh, I'm just uh, doing nothing here. Uh, it could also be used to take over jobs that people don't want to. 
Well, I saw an interesting thing the other day. It was um, I don't know how accurate this is, I have to say. But if you think about it, you can see how there's some truth to what I'm about to say. So the quote was something like 70% of all jobs in America uh, performed by men are driving jobs. Um, and you think, well, there's taxis, there's Ubers, there's forklift drivers, there's truck drivers, um, there's train drivers, there's um, even like, you know, airplane pilots and stuff like that. Right? There's all kinds of jobs in that industry. Uh, buses, right, all of that. And it was saying like, you know, in the future, all of these jobs will be replaced by AI, right? There will be driverless cars and things. So once they figure that, <clears throat> excuse me, once they figure that out, all those jobs become redundant. And if that is 70% of working men doing that, if that stat is correct, it's a little bit worrying, right? Because that's a heck of a lot of people that now don't have, um, don't have work. Hmm. It's thought. It is definitely a thought. Okay, so uh what do I need? Oh, I went to the wrong resource storage again. I'm gonna just keep going here just to annoy Dwayne. <laughs> Sorry, Dwayne. Oh, hang on, this needs a repair actually while we're here. I uh, I guess I missed a bit before, so uh let's repair you up. There we go. It'll be good, like how this is 53%, is if I could repair it right now because it's green without using resources, but if it gets to orange, then you have to repair it using resources. You know, that would be kind of good if they allowed that. But uh, but they don't, never mind. We need planks. How many planks do I even have? Let's check that out. 28. That's a good amount to get us started, isn't it? Another beautiful day in this medieval dynasty. The largest field in the world is manufacturing, which can 100% be replaced by AI. Again, if that's uh, if that's true, and I'm I'm not doubting you, just saying, you know, then uh, then that is a uh, another scary thought for sure. You know, it, it does make you wonder. Like, so what's going to happen? Are people are all these jobs just going to be extinct, and and there's like a ton of people just living off the state? Will there be new jobs and new industries and things? Um, that people will, will work in. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a crazy thought. Thanks for stopping by, Gwen, much appreciated. Um, but have a great sleep. Yeah, it certainly makes you wonder how many people in the future might be living off the state or, uh, or needing to find very new, very different ways to uh, to earn their money. Okay, let's go make a couple load of planks because uh, we're going to need them. I think that's all we need to finish the house. Then we can get these people in here. I wish this bridge was like double the size. Make it a little bit easier for my horse. Of course, I could just get better at um, horse riding. Uh, it's like every advancement in technology, says Christy. Like when steam engines were invented... It's just happening faster than we may be able to handle. Yeah, it's true. Um, right, I know it's the end of your day, but uh, here, you can knock off early today there. Uh, is it Bog Bogdala? There you go. Because I need some planks. Let's go. I'm sorry, Dwayne. I'm a little bit sorry. Jack Attack says it could bring problems with mass unemployment. Uh, like you said... Uh, but people adapt and new jobs are made. For example, you need people to program and maintain AIs and machines. That's that's true. Um, but I wonder whether in the future, like, could you program an AI to be able to diagnose and come up with solutions to any AI software problems that's been experienced faster and more on mass than what humans can do? So then you've got AIs that are doing the programming jobs for AI, if you know what I mean. Or you just build it in so that it becomes a self-fixing thing. And whereas before you might have needed, say, 100 people working in a certain plant to produce something, you now have maybe 10 people working there um, overseeing all of those AIs, 10 programmers or whatever. So you've still lost 90% of the jobs. This is the thing, right? Finish the woodshed and you can make more right there. That's true. I could have. Did I finish it? I think I did. Yeah, 
think I did. Um, but there we go. Jasmine says it's inevitable that AI will do the same thing as robots. Yeah, I guess so. It's going to be really interesting if uh, I'm still here in 50 years. I wonder how the world will be at that stage. But for now, I just want to build my house. <laughs> That's what you got to do at times with like this, guys, right? Just take it back to basics. I don't know what the future holds, but for now, I build my medieval dynasty, simple house. And continue to annoy Dwayne whenever possible. <laughs> um, oh, we're out of planks. Ugh, do I have anything on me here? All right, Dwayne, just for you. We're going to go to this resource storage. It's right here. See if we've got any logs or... We have planks in here, maybe even. I think we might have taken them all out. Yeah, looks like it. And logs. Ten. That's enough for now. We only need, like, I think it was four. I'm going to make up four. And I'm going to make it up at this woodshed as well, Dwayne. Here we go. This is uh, it's all for you. So we want to make up two of them, which is four. I think that's, that'll do it. Okay. Cat's mowing at me. I mean, that is one of the... Uh, other potential upsides being in YouTube is it doesn't seem to be uh, an industry that's going to decline in the years to come, but hopefully continue to grow, which would be nice. Um, right, this house is done. We would want to insulate it at some point, but for now, I think we sleep through tonight and then we get the two new woodshed people in here. They'll produce a lot more stuff for us. We have so many axes as well, which is great. So I think that's what they use. Um, and obviously the house for them to live in. So yeah, this is pretty good. We could decorate this at some point as well. Maybe build like a fence around it or something. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I want to get the production happening. So let's go to sleep. Get them in. Actually, we don't need to sleep, do we? Let's just head to the town. So that is a production skill, I believe, right? Um, actually, no, it's an extraction skill. Okay, so we need people that are good with extraction. I can't remember whether we're any or Stoya or not. But let's, let's go to Piastovia anyway and check it out there first and see. Um, uh, Jasmine said, I only found out about this game yesterday. I'm trying to decide whether I should buy it. It's on sale at the moment. And while it's good, I'm not sure how many hours I'll get out of it personally. It's always difficult, isn't it? I wish more games did free trials. Um, I was saying before, like I'm able to request a lot of game keys these days and have a reasonable success rate at getting them so i get the game for free which is very very nice and very appreciated indeed um but i still have to buy a lot of games and for every game that you'll see me cover on my channel i've probably bought like at least 10 um so i do spend a fair bit on games and i wish there was more demos where you could just try it out and see if you like it first i do understand game companies need to make their money back and that uh, we always think of these big games and big game companies who are just making millions, but there are a lot of very small game companies out there who really struggle to make their money, so I get it uh, from, their, from their point of view too. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a difficult one. Um, and I never like to say too much to try and sway people, you know, to part with their harder money. Oh, she's a three. So we need a guy now, ideally, who's uh, decent. He's a two. He's a two. He's only 20, though. We'll take him. So, oh, actually, do we even... Oh, we need more reputation. All right, we're going to get 300 once we deliver the beetroot. So maybe I'll do that. I wonder, actually, I could buy his 70 beetroot. I know that I'm farming it. I only have to wait a season, but from a content perspective, maybe I could do that. Hmm. Confession is good for the soul. There you go. Helping my soul. Yeah, like I'd hate to ever persuade someone to buy a game and then they hate it. And they've wasted, you know, however much of their own money on that. Um, so I always say, you know, like obviously I enjoy this game. Um, I've played it, you know, a lot of hours, made a lot of videos on it and all that sort of stuff. But whether or not you would really depends what you're into. Um... What's, uh, what's putting you off by in this game, Jasmine? What, what what makes you think that perhaps you wouldn't like it? Maybe I can ask that as a question and see if I can help out. My experience with this game was I bought it and played it for about an hour or something and just found it 
wasn't fun and then just left it. And then I revisited it about like a year later or something. I was like, oh, actually, this game's awesome. I just didn't get it at first. And yeah, I think I was trying to play it wrong at first, trying to play it more like a survival, like a solo survival game or whatever, and not factoring in this is really a, a town building game. It's just from a first person perspective. Uh, rather than like you know a typical city builder 3d top down kind of thing and um a lot more hands-on with gathering all the resources and buildings and stuff like that come on horse you can get over that little rock surely um so yeah i do i do think that's uh well that was my experience with the game and i do think it's possible other people might have that sort of experience whereas some games as soon as you play them you just like straight into them and that was my experience with Valheim from the very first time I played it. I was like, wow, this game's awesome. And uh, I knew I'd love it. I got very fortunate to uh, be able to make a lot of, a lot, a lot of videos about it that did very well for me. Which is really every gaming content creator's dream. So uh, it's not lost on me how fortunate I was to experience that. <clears throat> Certainly something that I thought about a lot through... Uh, my career of uh, YouTube, you know, well, it'd be awesome if I could find a game that I just really love and it also gets a ton of views. And uh, and that was Valheim for me. But then this game as well, I mean, like I say, it's 200,000 views now on episode one for this, which is uh, a surprise to me, but uh, an awesome surprise that it did so well. Am I ready for Ashlands? I've been ready for about about nine months, Christy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very ready. Uh, you know, uh, the sooner the better. And I look forward to making content on it if I can. I've said this before, but um, I'm going to be in Europe in the whole month of June. Yeah, June. Um, so hopefully they don't release it then, because they did say this year, so it could be. And then I'm pretty screwed. Right. What do I want to eat? Let's try and eat stuff that's like going off. So we save the good stuff for my villagers. Uh, well, let's just do this, and we'll cook up all this low-quality meat, and we'll eat that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, in here, I suppose, on the grill. And cook up all of that. Jasmine says, early game, I really enjoy sandbox city builders. Um, but after a few hours, I stopped seeing the point. It's just like, make the city bigger, which I get bored of sometimes. Like, city skylines, I can't play along. Yeah, I, I definitely um, I get that. Um, I'm trying to think if that would happen for you in this game, which is it's obviously like a little difficult for me to know whether that would happen for you or not. Oh, we need to go and sell our fish as well. We could have eaten some. Oh, well, we're going to sell it. Why not? we got loads of other stuff. Um, oh, yeah. So, I don't know. For me, it's definitely kept my attention, which um, doesn't always happen. I'm terrible at actually sticking to things, so... I found that this game did capture my attention much longer and I've enjoyed building the city up from nothing to what we have here, a much bigger city and all the stuff that's going on. But obviously I can't really say whether or not that would be your experience. So yeah, I don't think it can be much help. I'm sorry. It'll be out by the end of June. Uh, yeah, but I'm leaving like at the start of June. So if it comes out during June while I'm in Europe for a month, then I'm pretty screwed. I mean... I would like it to come out in like March, so this month, so that I've got the whole of April and May to make two months of solid content on it before I go away. Um, but I really don't see that happening. Um, oh, we need to get that quest done. That was the problem, wasn't it? We were going to go and check that out. So we can go sell our fish and see how much it'd be to buy 70 beetroot. Again, this is a content creation thing, not a good game strategy thing. I'm aware of that, but there we go. Uh, Citizen says, Woot, more Medieval Dynasty, I just tuned in. Uh, yeah, the series will be continued. What I'm trying to do, if I go on to production here, 1761 is our production. I want to get it up to 2500, as you hear the market stall, uh, so we can build that as a whole episode about building the market stall. I think we do a lot of decoration around it and talk about the functionality of it and stuff like that as well. So that's the next video I'm planning, and this stream just seemed like a really good way to get back into the series and then get into... Um, a point where we can build uh, something of interest for the next video. Uh, Dracronicus says, I remember some of your earlier videos of Valheim where you were testing out things like how far you could throw a spear or uh, how fast, as far you could go before you ran out of stamina. 
Yeah, yeah, it was, um, I tried all, all, like, all kinds of videos for uh, Valheim. Tutorials obviously did the best for me. Um, some of my entertainment style videos, they did uh, good too. But really, uh, anything Valheim that I put out does does well. I've not had anything that's really horrendously flopped, to be honest. So I'm pretty fortunate with that. Uh, they seem pretty close. Seems like they're working on balancing, but who knows? Yeah, um, hopefully they are close. That reminds me, actually, I need to rejoin the test branch because their Discord, I haven't rejoined it yet. So I should probably do that to be kept in the loop of these things. I still obviously follow all their Twitter and stuff. Uh, what am I doing here? I want to sell you things. I want to sell you some of this. And you sell beetroot. Oh, I can only buy 47 off of him. Is there anyone else that would sell beetroot elsewhere? If I buy 47 from him, um, it's only going to cost me 183. Okay, so I think what we want to do is see if we go to maybe Skalky. Anyone in chat able to tell me if there's anywhere else I can buy um, beetroot? Because I, I think it might be an idea for us to just buy it, complete the quest and uh move on so yeah it's probably good jasmine said i've only seen the first few episodes of your let's play uh what has the mid-game progression felt like i've seen uh there are also some rpg elements of those uh good so yeah the the role play side of things is mostly i would say you know when you're doing the uh sorry i'm trying to get where where the heck right i need to get to skalky which is down there i'm, I'm guessing skalky is a good place to go um so let's go up this way and around um yeah so there's different quests in the game which i think are very good personally astoya oh okay we'll go to astoya you better not be lying to me jobu yeah um the quests are very good they're, they're diverse they take a, a bit of doing as well they're not just simple and um can take you around the map and stuff so i think the rp part of the game is 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 good um Hold on, is that something chasing me? It's probably not as good as some of the big RPG games out there because it's not really the main focus, but it's a nice addition to the game. Personally, I found that I... Oh, there's a wolf. Um, uh, there's a couple of wolves. Yeah, I've, I've not personally found I've done quests all that much, really, I don't think, compared to what some people might. But they're very useful because they give me the, um, the dynasty reputation that I need in order to get in new citizens so that that's what i use them for mostly they can also be quite useful early game for money too for paying your taxes and things um some of them are a little bit grinded to complete and a bit annoying but for the most part they've been good in terms of the mid game um i did find it exciting as i was playing through to unlock new buildings and to get to points like oh now we can ride a donkey that's awesome and then you get to a point where you can upgrade that and be riding a horse which is very cool you know and you can start your own farms and breeding animals and you unlock, you know, pigs and then you unlock other things. So, yeah, there's been a lot of that where I've, I have enjoyed that, to be honest. Uh, do the fish trick now that we're here. Yep, could do. Where would I buy the beetroot from in Ostoya? This person here, maybe. Let's go down here. I just want to see if we can do this. It was 47 at the other place. We need uh, someone to make up the rest of that. 48 so i'm gonna buy 48 off you thank you um then we'll buy from the other person and complete that quest so yeah i, I did find the the mid game was was keeping me very engaged but there's, you have to understand this is obviously just a personal thing not necessarily you know not not everyone's going to feel the same so but yeah my, my personal experience was definitely a, a positive one with this game throughout i right, can only do those for now Let's make the campfire and all that stuff also, fun fact, the map is called Oxbow, which is a type of lake found uh, on the map that form a sharp meanders cut off from rivers, forming a crescent shape. Yes, do you know, it's weird. It's one of the things that stuck with me from school, actually, that, the Oxbow Lake. Um, I quite liked geography at school because it was a lot of videos in geography, wasn't it? A lot of videos. Okay, Joe, I believe you now because <laughs> I just got my beetroot. Thank you for that. <laughs> And that's very true. I could ask NPCs as well. Um, did my fire die? Wasn't it around here somewhere? Maybe I need to remake it. How long does it last? So many questions, so little time. 
Um, but yeah, geography was always that one. It's like, uh, oh, they're wheeling in the television. Like, yes, there's going to be a video. Um, can we, uh, there we go. And uh, light the fire. And craft things up. There used to be uh, that thing where they'd wheel in the video, or maybe it's already in the classroom or something like that. And we'd go in and we'd all be like, yes. And the teacher would be like, it's not for you, it's for the next class, or it's from the previous class. And the disappointment. It used to be so good, like, okay, now I'm going to put on this video that's like an hour long, um, that tells you all about rivers or hills or something. And uh, you'd be like, oh, great. You know, it's just like an hour's nap. Um, and sometimes they would be interesting, to be fair. But they were usually like, you know, 40 years old. <laughs> and uh, and just a good, a good excuse to have a bit of a rest or to muck around with my mates. I feel like I'd be so different if I went to school now, like with the personality in that I have now. I'd be the biggest nerd ever, and I just like wouldn't care. Would not care at all what anybody thought about that or whatever. Just like, I'm interested in this stuff. Because as an adult, I'm now interested in like everything, and I just know all these like random, completely useless facts. So going somewhere like school all day, and you get so much holiday time, all your weekends completely free, um, get all those weeks off in the summer holidays. That Friday when you come home, give your mum the school uniform. She was always like big on that, like make sure you give me your uniform. I want to keep it nice for next year. You know, but when you do that, it was like the best. It was the best feeling. And you got all those weeks of just summer holidays and having fun. Oh, I need to buy the rest of your fish. Man, those were those were good. That was the best day. And the worst day was the, the Sunday night, the, you know, when you have to go back after all that time off. Uh, Jasmine says in the game I should probably get back to the game a bit I, I waffle on a bit but I guess that's streaming right um, you can have children I wonder is there a purpose to them other than the purpose uh, NPC children have um, yes there is a purpose to children in this game so that for you personally when you have children so um, I've got a wife in the game we've had a child together um, when my child becomes of age and then when I die in the game um, of old age or whatever uh, I play as the child to continue on my dynasty. So that's the sort of dynasty aspect of the game where you keep playing until you die, you've had kids, and you need to make sure you keep having kids every time so that you can continue playing the game, and continue your dynasty. So there's that. The other children, the ones that are born that are in your village, um, be they will become adults eventually and obviously increase the population, the working population of your village because once they are adults, they're able to work. So that's a way you can grow your, your city without needing to continually, perpetually get uh, Dynasty reputation. Uh, I'm not going to go back and sell the rest of the fish. We're going to head to Piastovia and sell all the fish there, plus buy the beetroot there, complete the quest. That's the way to do it. Um, so yeah, they, they, they do have um, a use to them. That's interesting, says Christy. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but if it's something I said, then it's of course going to be interesting, so I'll, I'll just agree. <laughs> And the fire only lasts a season. There, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I had a, a horse crash. I've had quite a few of these in my time. So many of these off camera, guys. Uh, not that I cut them out on purpose or anything. It's just generally like if I'm on a horse, it's not something I would leave in the video. I've just cut the whole thing out, right? Because it's not super interesting. I can hear a wolf near me. Are the mobs trying to attack you? Yeah, the wolves will. Wolves will try and attack you. Um, and so will the, I think they're called lynx, aren't they? They're kind of like jaguar kind of things in the game. They'll try and attack you. And the buffalo, which are not called buffalo. But whatever they're called, they'll also try and... Oh, animals need feeding. All right, we'll do that when we get back to town. There's one thing. There's always constantly uh, things to do in this game as well. You just start getting on top of one thing and then something else needs doing. And you do that, something else needs doing, you know. Which is another way that it sort of keeps your interest, you know. So I went to all the effort to grow beetroot and now I'm just buying it. The best game mechanic I've ever seen. What, my horse crash? They do look really funny, actually. They're so derpy. Um, yeah, I like them. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to buy some beetroot off you. But I'm going to make a little bit of a trade here because you look like the sort of man who's got a burning desire to buy some fish. So there you go. Then I'll buy your beetroot. And I need... What was it? 70. So I need 30. Minus that. Was it 22 that I need? I think now I have 70. Yeah, I do. Um, and now you're going to buy a load more of my fish. 
So long indeed. Goodbye. I was reading chat when I crashed. I was. I was. Although I don't think, uh, you know, it's very rare I've got that excuse. 90% of my uh, crashes, probably 99% of my crashes have not been when I'm streaming. <laughs> so. Oh, new level in diplomacy. Let's actually have a look at that right now. So, skills, diplomacy. Um, okay, more experience gained from it. Barter, though, we could just barter a bit more. Let's barter a bit more, I think. Oh, faster production done by NPCs. That is kind of cool, right? Because we're trying to get production happening. Um, there's some other ones here that seem good. I think we'll do the production one. This will go up to 10% faster production by NPCs. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, okay, hello. No, not you. Uh, I need to speak to traders. What can you do for me? Well, you can buy my fish. There you go. 24 and a half thousand. Man, money's so easy in this game now. It used to be a real grind at the start. All right, Dwayne. All right, pipe down, mate. All right, no one likes... Uh, no one likes a, a no. <laughs> oh, the dude's just here. Ponzamir. Um, wait, what? I. He's saying, do you have the beat root? I can say I do. If you're willing to serenade you, uh, what? I do. Um, have I got to be a poet now? Well, I need rhymes for my work. I thought if I come up with some funny poems about my wares, more people are going to come and buy them. My son... That guy gave me the idea. The boy has quite an imagination. Maybe you could help me a little. Um, all right. Let's do this. Great. Let's start with onions. Onions have layers. They're great for all the players. Special prices not only for tax payers. Um, okay. They're great for all players. Buy from me an egg. Even if your name isn't Greg, it won't bring you down a peg. Please don't. Okay, even if your name isn't Greg, we're doing great. Now the last one. Once you eat my bread, your enemies will drop dead. You'll feel like a newlywed. It will never leave your head. You'll be free from dread. I like bread that makes me free from dread. Thank you for your help. So what do you think about this idea? Um, that's great. That is a great idea. Hope people are going to like it. I have no idea what just happened there. Um, oh, we got to wait for the next season? Do we, did our reputation not go up? Is that... Oh, for God's sake, we don't get our reward just yet, I don't think. This is stupid. All right, so, so we did all that, and we still don't even get the dynasty reputation that we need for, uh, for those new people, I'm guessing, right? Let's check the notice board then, see if there's anything there. It is the sort of game you can really chill to, um, Christy, yeah. Like, you can play it in a very chilled way. All right, notice board. Let's see. So this one here, deliver six linen fabric for 100 reputation. That's going to be easy. Deliver 47 salt. I mean, we probably have that, and it's 200 reputation, so we're definitely going to take that. Um, torches, sticks, and fire. We could do that. 14 fertilizer. Blimey. Okay, this is, we're going to have so much stuff here. I think what we've got there is fine. Let's go take these down. Uh, you, don't, you don't receive any damage when you fall off a mount. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Hey, dude, let's go. Who wants to see another horse crash? I'll try and make one happen. Let's go. Give all the kids toys? Um, yeah, I could definitely do that. I need to actually treat my wife and kid better in this game. Maybe that's something we'll do next time we're in town. I need to buy them gifts. You basically buy love on this game. Just how it works. Uh, I've been thinking recently that I like a chill game, everything to play, uh, things trying to kill me. That's what I liked about the look of that Lumberjacks Dynasty game. Um, you just kind of build up a chill. Here, should we try a horse crash? I think if I go into this, it'll work. Look at that. When I try and crash, it doesn't work. What can I say? Um, yeah, you just kind of build up your business slowly over time and stuff like that, so it looked kind of good, but, um, yeah. All right, let's actually, we need to get off here and try and pick up stuff for the quests that we just picked up to get those done. So, actually, let's see what we actually need. That would be, uh, be a lot of help. 
6 linen fabric, 47 salt, 14 fertilizer. Okay, let's have a look. Start with the fertilizer, and we have two. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, 89 rock. We'll take all of that. Also, I think we've got a ton of manure in here somewhere. So we'll just take a look at that as well. And we'll go and make up a load of fertilizer as the first portal call. See about that. Yeah, I've never played it, the Lumberjack Dynasty thing, so I don't know if it's good or not, but um be worth, be worth looking at. Uh, what am I doing? Stand this way. Yeah, true, there are mobs that try and kill you in this game, but I think you can quite easily avoid them for the most part. I, I, I find that I don't ever really run into them. Um, and if you do, certainly once you've got a mount on that, it's pretty easy to just, you just run away from them, so you don't have, even have to fight. Okay, that's a lot of fertilizer, but that's good because they'll need some uh, for the farming and we'll need some for farming. But uh, yeah, never, never bad to have too many. And we'll just turn the rot into it as well, just as well. Not much else going on there. All right, so that's that done. Um, let's get back on the horse. Oh, and we can go to uh, Dwayne's storage room. As this shall uh, henceforth be known. <laughs> Here we go. Went to the correct resource storage. It's actually kind of better this one because it doesn't have a staircase to get in. Um, I would do it differently if I built the other one again because it's annoying having that staircase. First world problems. So all of you in there, um, apart from 74, I'll put 74 of you in so we keep the 14. Salt, I believe it was 47 if memory serves. Do we have salt on us? Just a little bit. So about there. Four, E, five, six, seven. And six of the linen fabric. Was it linen fabric or Fred? Well, let's just take out six of this and hope it was a fabric. Um, and yeah, it is fabric. Okay, cool. So we've got everything we need. Now we just go and complete the quest. Nice and easy. Um, okay, so... Yeah, you don't have creepy mobs trying to get in your house. That's true. Um, <laughs> no creepers. There are also bandits in the game, but for the most part, you kind of have to go looking for them rather than them just coming and attacking you when you're just minding your own business. So, yeah, it's more about the survival aspect of building up your dynasty, building up your town, stuff like that, than it is about not dying. Although in the early game, there can be some tricky spots that you can get into with some of the mobs, but for the most part, it's not, not really like that. There's also a ton of settings, like if you go into, uh, is it settings? I thought it was like an options or something. Maybe it's in here. No. There's like a different, oh, customized game. So here you can you can set all this stuff. So you can see here, like you could play it without tax if you wanted. You could have unlimited HP, stamina, lack of hunger and thirst, unlimited carry weight. It goes on and on, right? All the way down here. You see all the stuff, even to like the length of the seasons and the stuff that your villagers need. So you can literally make this the most chilled game you've ever played if you want. Um, it's it's really personalizable. Is that a word? It is now. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, another good thing about it. Um, okay, let's see. What quest... Are we, oh, we just need to make one of these tracked so that we can follow that. Um, 30 meters away, perfect. All right. Looks like you're the one, Derwan. Derwan loves a quest. Um, and the next one. And uh, the next one, there we go, all three quests were Derwan. So I did see reputation has gone up a ton. We also got a bit of money out of doing that too, which is never a bad thing. So now, we can go and get those new citizens to the town. There's also two different maps to play on. There's... Um, this one and one other, this is the new one, which is why I decided to play it. But the other one is uh, is a very good map too, the the OG Medieval Dynasty map. So that's another good thing about the game. You do have a couple of different options there. Um, right, who did we want? I think, yeah, you're definitely a person that I want. Um, great, see you there. We'll sort you out with the house in a minute. I think you were the other dude, because uh, you're, you're a two, but you're younger. Um... Cool. All right, so those are the two new people. Now we just need to manage them, starting with the house. 
So under houses, there should be one that's empty. Um, and that looks like it's the only one. Just want to check. Sometimes you've got like a random empty house you forgot about. Again, it doesn't matter too much. You can assign them whenever you want um, to, to any house you want. It doesn't affect their work, but it's just better to do it that way. Okay, so they're both in there. And then the other thing we want to manage is um, ex extraction. This woodshed that has norm work in here. So we're going to put in you. I'm going to put in you. Okay, so now those notifications should all be about to go away apart from the yeah, animal feed and the work. But they should all be good. So we're going to go back and sort out the animal feed and work now. Back on the horse. Let's go. Um, I might have buckets, but I don't need any more reputation, Dwayne, so I'm not going to worry about that other quest for now. It was a pretty simple quest that we could... Oh, a horse crash. See, they only happen when I'm looking at chat. When I actually try and make one happen, it doesn't happen. You know what I love? Is he just stays down. Like, I don't have to... You know, all these people just saw this guy just crash off his horse in the middle of the <laughs> He's just lying down. This kid just looked... He doesn't care. He's just like, oh, this guy's in again. There he goes. He does this all the time, guys. Don't worry about it. But yeah, until I actually tell him to get up, he just he just lies down there. It's quite funny. I do have a little chuckle to myself every time I have a, a horse crash. Maybe that's why I like this game so much. I have so many of these horse crashes, and they're never not fun. No more zombies. Yeah, that's true. No more zombies. What what game are you playing where zombies are coming for you? This sounds like Minecraft, where they're trying to get into your base. Um, oh, I didn't know Enshrouded had zombies. I haven't played that, uh, that much of it, clearly, but... Um, that's interesting. So that yeah, I can I can understand that. Being a scary experience when you don't even know that it's happening, so I wouldn't have known. Um right, animal feed we have. We just need to figure out where it's going, and then I'm not sure what these work problems are. Usually it's tools, so we'll see about those as well. Um back to the Dwayne storage box right here. There we go for the animal feed and uh, let's see what's the animals that actually need a bit of feeding it's the chickens all right we'll do the chickens draconics that would have been the best they they need to go that end of the game um wait what do i have animal feed oh they're using the animal feed for other things all right well we know what to do so it is straw in copious quantities <laughs> <coughs> oh god <clears throat> Man, I've got something really uh, stuck in my throat there. Okay, rye grain <clears throat> and oat grain. Oh boy. I'm in bad shape over here. <clears throat> Apologies, guys. Had a bit of a <clears throat> sore throat the last few days. They're not technically zombies, but they're kind of undead. Well, that makes sense. I didn't know those things existed uh, either way. Um, I think I did set up the um, woodshed so they've got work to do, didn't I? I'll have a look for you after I've done this animal feed. Um, but because it's already set from the previous woodshed, I thought it just car carries over. <clears throat> so this woodshed here... Yeah, you're right, it doesn't have anything going on. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat is really bad. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to get these guys producing logs. Uh, I think the other one's doing stuff anyway, so, yeah. Because the thing is, if they produce 73 logs a day, we can use those 73 to make our own firewood or planks instantly um, because I turned on fast crafting, which is another option in this game. And I did that so I could stream it and so I could make a better, faster series as well because... It was getting to the point where I needed like 15 minutes to craft stuff, um, which seemed kind of pointless. Oh, actually, I came over here to make... Oh, no, I did make the animal feed. Now I've got to go <clears throat> go feed the chicken. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, so, we need to get over to the chickens on this foggy morning while I continue to uh, cough my guts up down the microphone to you guys. <clears throat> uh, please get some barn workers or oh, some more barn workers yeah I guess uh, some extra 
animal feed and stuff would be good is <coughs> oh my goodness I'm dying here um chickens <clears throat> Uh, they are over here. <clears throat> so, there we go. Okay, almost up to 1800, but man, this is slow. <clears throat> you still think I'd love Nightingale? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. From what I've seen, I just, I'm not convinced about it. I think it's the sort of game as well that, um... Oh, for God's sake, I don't know what's happening. Cannot talk. Um, <clears throat> oh, well, Plovis, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to talk right now. <clears throat> so sorry for that timing. Um, $20 from Clovis, who says, just want uh, you to know that many of us support you on your journey. Thank you so much, Clovis. And, and I I do feel that from you guys. Like, I get, I get a ton of support, and I'm incredibly uh, fortunate with that, for sure. So, um... Excuse me. Yeah, <clears throat> a big thank you to everyone who does support. It, it does mean a lot, and it's why I, I try to keep coming back and and doing the things that you guys like, whether it's more Valheim or more of this or whatever. Um, but I do obviously have to try out some new things sometimes too, and you know, then sometimes you guys like them, sometimes you don't, and then we uh, we continue with that or not, depending. But thank you very much for that, Clovis. I do I do really appreciate the uh, the donation. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, yeah, I really do apologize. I'm not sure what's happening to my throat right now. Uh, so management, I was trying to figure out with jobs. So excavation shed, they need the tool. Um, what tool do they need? Pickaxe, we need to make some more pickaxes up for them, okay. And where else? Um, so don't worry about the fishing hut, that's fine. Maybe it's just the excavation shed. I'm not seeing anything else here that's uh, really looking like too much of a problem. So extraction is all fine. Here comes the music. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it's just the excavation shed. We need to make up pickaxes. So let's see how many of these we can we can make up. So we've got a little bit of bronze there. I think there's a fair bit of bronze back at the other place, potentially. So let's take all the logs and go check that out. And in the meantime, let's put back anything we don't need. Hello, Jean-Philippe. How are you doing? Yes, we are. We're back indeed with some, some medieval dynasty. And it's been good. Um, as always, of course. What hey, am I so... I've got 27 logs, I guess that's what it is. So we need at least some of them anyway. We'll, we'll go and check that out. <clears throat> yeah, so Nightingale, uh, I might like it, but it's the sort of game that if I was doing it, I'd have to really make content on it. To, otherwise, I'd feel like I was wasting an opportunity. Um, but I'm just... Yeah, I'm not really feeling that at the moment. <clears throat> So funny, I'm playing this game right now. Uh, new subscriber, well, CJ Lewis. Thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Um, hope you're enjoying the uh, the game. I'm sure that you are. It's, uh, it is a very good game, of course. How can we... Uh, right, if we go down to there, we can just about walk along. Let's do this. Love having this extra car <clears throat> carry weight <clears throat> that I've got now. Okay, so we can make up nine of them. That's great. Uh, thanks, Jean-Philippe. Um, nice to be back to doing it. It's a series that I'd really like to finish off by, um, you know, <clears throat> building out all the stuff in this game that, that uh, to sort of complete complete the game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep working on that. <clears throat> it's like I've got something stuck in my throat or something. I can't seem to shift it. Oh, there we go. Just jumping in my imagine how scary that would be. Just walking along and suddenly your king jumps over you and um on his horse. I guess I did just call myself the king of this town. I mean technically I am, right? Uh right, nine of those in there because then everyone can find them and use them. Oh, 112 animal feet on me. So let's put all that in there, because people might need that. I didn't realize I made quite so much. Uh and the logs can go in there too. Okay, happy days. Happy, happy days. So we're waiting for the next season in order to finish that quest, um, which was for a reputation that we didn't even need in the end. We still want to keep producing things. That's the other thing that we're trying to do here. 
Um, and maybe we can make stuff that's a little bit more complex, like things like shirts and stuff like that. So in terms of that, we've got some wool and some wool thread. So I'm going to take all of that out. I'm going to go see what I can make with that. I'm pretty sure there's items that need those two things. As I'm thinking about this, though, there might also be a requirement for leather for some of them. So let's have a look at leather. Do we have that? Only 10 leather. It doesn't seem a lot. So I'm wondering why it's so low. Let's just go see the recipe and go from there. But it was said about if we make some more complex uh, recipe things, our production skill will go up a bit faster. Uh, no, Jean-Philippe. So we are here, 1780. We need to get down to here, 2,500. I've only gone up for uh, about 100 odd points in this stream. Um, we have been doing other things, but it is pretty tricky in this game to level up because there's always other things you need to do at the same time, right? So we're trying to level production, but then it's like people need tools and food and we've got to do quests to get in new villages and it's, uh, it's like a whole thing. So tunics, we could unlock something like this if we wanted to. Uh, wool fabric, wool... What? I don't have any wool fabric on me? I thought I did. Or did I just... Oh, I got wool. Okay, so what we've got on us is we can make up a load of wool thread and then we can use the wool thread to make up wool fabric. Okay, so let's do that. So let's make all of that up. That will help us a little bit, right, from whatever production we're on now. It'll, it'll put us up a little bit. Um, then we can make the fabric and then we can make some clothes and stuff out of the wool. And yeah, should be should be good. So we just got to wait for these few seconds to pass. My phone's ringing. Sorry, who was that? Oh, maybe it's not ringing. Sorry, I just want to check something weird's going on here. Uh, I think my mum was trying to get hold of me. I'll call her back. Okay, so there's that. Then over here, um, let's do about half. Maybe just a little bit less than half. Do that way. I never thought you were a one uh, game only type of channel and many would probably agree. I think it's um, <clears throat> it's not really a smart way to do YouTube for many reasons, you know, burnout being one of them, um, trying to grow your channel, reach new audiences be another. And also if the game dies, then you die with it and that's not very good. So yes, yeah, so we need leather for this. Why do we have such little leather? That's what I don't get. Is there something I can make? that doesn't require leather. Oh, look at this. We can make these hoods. Oh, no, we can't. Um, we need fur for that. I wonder how much fur we have. We can have a look. Well, this here just needs wool fabric, so we could potentially make up that. So, yeah, I think it's it's, it's good to branch out, and it's uh, I've, I've enjoyed doing it. It's been good for me so far. I just want to keep uh, trying new games, and, you know, this was a new game that I tried. It worked really well. Sometimes we get ones like this. Other times, not so much, of course. Yeah, wow, this is this is tricky. So the hood is looking like our best bet right now. But, so the hood requires wool fabric. Now we can make more of that here, can't we? So let's just do all that. We'll turn it... It's not turn it into a hugely more complex thing, but we did actually have to do three processes to making this. So all each of those three processes will give us some more production points, which is good. Um, okay. Let's see. Hoods make these up and we'll see how this did if you're not in the main story with Rakamar you respawn in your house when you die um possibly I think so dying changed on medieval dynasty right and then in the new one because when I died in this series I was able to just carry on when it didn't used to be quite like that uh so how much production did that give us see we're only gone up well about another hundred we still have a very long way to go though as you can see um, now, I wonder if, um, if we go into this workshop right here, is there stuff here we can make that's going to be simple? So like, for example, wicker basket, we can make a ton of those. It's only five sticks at a time and we can buy it for 50. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get all my sticks and make that up. Oh, I need to drink. Uh, where's the well? Aha, uh -huh. I always forget. Okay. So let's see. Um, we want to drink. Just noticed I haven't had to wash once since I started the stream. Um, hmm. I wonder if that's been turned down or something. It feels, it feels like normally I would have had to wash by now. I just really, I don't think I've... Maybe I've gone in the water a bit accidentally on, or something like that. I don't know. 
Um, what was I doing? Right, let's get all these sticks. We've got like a thousand odd sticks. We're going to literally just get almost all of them. I don't want to use all of them because we'll probably need some for other things. And it's a little bit wasteful. Like as much as I want to get my production up, I need to kind of uh, manage it a bit as well, right? So we'll just have a look here at what we can do. Uh, 945. So we'll take like, <clears throat> yeah, like almost 750 of them. Turn them all into wicker baskets. See where that gets us. The good thing about sticks is they're very easy to get, and I could probably do a, a grindy session like off cam, um, where I just go and get a ton off cam because I don't think it's super interesting to watch me just get in a load of sticks and turn them into wicker baskets. But uh, yeah, so if this works, that's good. And then the wicker baskets, we can just sell them. We're not going to make a ton of money, but we could do that potentially. I mean, let's see, let's see what they sell for. It might not really be worth it. We don't know at this juncture. Um, Oh, a medium wicker basket. I mean, I assume that's going to be better all around, right? I'm just going to make up the medium ones. I assume that by making the medium one, because it's more resources, you get the extra um, <clears throat> points for making it, and you can probably sell it for more. So let's see. That put us up to 1887. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible compared to some of our other options. And then if we check our inventory as well, the medium wicker basket sells for five, so we get about two and a half per one. So a few hundred coins there for each one that we do. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. Um, okay. Guys, I am going to leave it there for today. We've done about, about three hours, actually, just over, so that's not too bad for the stream. Uh, made some good progress as well towards the next video, which I know a few people have been asking about uh, for the series. Is it continuing? Stuff like that. Um, so, sorry. Real quick message i got to send. Yeah, my bad. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for the support and the donations and things like that. And just for being here watching and chatting with me over the last few hours. It's been awesome to have you. Um, if you watch this on, on YouTube, let me know how it was to watch back as a stream. Um, but the actual video content will be back soon. Um, I'm going to need to do a load more grindy stuff, which I'll probably just grind out, you know, off camera, not on stream or in a video in order to get to a point where we can get the production up to do something fun like the market stall. Um, but yeah, have a great rest of your evening, wherever you are, or rest of your day if you're here in my time zone. And uh, thanks ever so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one, whenever that may be.